Yeah, there, there you go. Now that's how you advertise a game, right? Oh, they stink! This book stinks too! This intro always used to spook me. The war against- Guy gas! Yeah. See? Th th I never noticed that, but it's a gas station. Look at that gas. Guy gas. It's guy gas. It's, it's man fart. The destroyer of worlds. Gigas. Gigas. Guga. Gigi Gugu Gaga Gi. <laughs> yeah. By Shigasato Itoi. Well, this is up to you guys. What what do you want? Yeah, do you want plain, mint, strawberry, banana, or peanut? I might go with banana though, because I like bananas. Banana. Please name him. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go with Ness. Odiska, good old Paula. Odiska, and Jeff. And as the game humbly suggests, poo. Well, I'm 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 gonna actually uh, change this and call him uh, shite poo. <laughs> name my pet. I will name my pet something different though. Uh, dog. <laughs> Hot dog. My favorite homemade food is obviously, uh, people. People. People food. Soylent Green is people. You know what, though? You know what, though? I want some homemade spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yes, mom. I'd like a plate full of spaghetti tonight. Potato. <laughs> it's just a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza, man. What's my favorite thing? Well, obviously. I mean, come on. Come on now. So, Ness, Paula, Jeff, Pooh, Hot Dog, Pizza, and Metal. So, it's pretty good to me. Wow! Wow! The year is 1990X. Oh, Ness, a small town in Eagle Land. Mrs. House. You know, my favorite year is 1990X, because that's the year of Mega Man, right? <laughs> oh my god. I'm a 90X kid. You guys remember uh, Doug and Pogs? Ah, uh, it's the Popo. That's something I'm used to. Look at me. I'm a little gangster. First the bitches, then the riches. My face is at all. Now you want to go check it out? Okay. We'll sneak out of your room anyway. Even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. That's right. I am the striped panther. Look at me. I'm as fast as a cobra. My reflexes are of steel. Look at me. I have a baseball cap, a backpack, and sneakers of slaughter. Look at that. I am a badass little kid. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's talk to, to Hot Dog. Besides, I assume it's dogs also sleep at night. Why don't you sleep? <laughs> Look at my cheeks. Some rose-colored 50s cheeks. Hey, what's up, Dr. Phil? I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Hey, Picky. Uh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home, so I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. You have a giant cactus, look at that. Man, cactuses are cool. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto! Uh-uh. I'm a little rebel, look at me, I got 50 cheeks. <laughs> a meter it looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh! Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No. And here's my uh, friend. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the car. Oops, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will, will tell you more about this strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. 
Like, Mom, hopefully it's not going to be dry. So I'm just going to lie still for now. Mm. Hey, oh. Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Pinky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, oh good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going well. Suddenly, I noticed that Pinky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me do fine, Picky? Fine. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? You, you little carp man ripoff. Come here, dog. Do you want me to go with you? I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Hot dogs, don't you? Yeah, there we go. Strong by giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. Do you know what equip means? Yes, I do, Pokey. Hello, it's your dad. Uh, work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. Now that you're brave, you can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposit 30 bucks into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck. My boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero at least. <laughs> Beep. We're gonna do a bash of the Spiteful Pro and he's got sunglasses on and he's got a bow tie too. A big grin on his face. And hot dog rolled. Yeah, look at that. Thought to himself. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's, he's useful. Picked at my eyes. Good lord. And he played dead. That's my best friend. Big grin on his face. Abiding at the- Yeah, look at that, look at that! Thank you, hot dog. Yeah! I love video game dogs. They're, they're always so helpful, man. So what did he leave behind? He left a cookie. Cookie, cookie. I know this is an old trope in video games, but why is it that chocobos and, and enemies and snakes and whatever, they hold like armor pieces and all this stuff? Even as a kid, I, I, I actually questioned this. And I didn't even give a shit about, you know, logic in video games, but one thing that always put me off is like, when you're slaughtering and like, killing local fauna in video games, like you're slaughtering a rat in a sewer, and they drop like a, a sword of, you know, infinite fiery nuclear death. Where was that rat hiding that? It's like every goddamn enemy in an RPG game are kleptomaniacs. And they're also like anal masters because they, they hide these things in their, you know, colon. The runaway dog is is great because he uh, looks like he's got a strong arm. <laughs> a lot of people were first introduced to Nest through Smash on the uh, Nintendo 64. I was, you know. Here's the thing too, Earthbound was never released in Europe and it was released in the States too, but there's a big thing about this, and most people are aware of it, but... Uh, Earthbound sold shit. Earthbound sold, like, you know, just milk. Milk in the, in, in the fucking hot summer. It's a rare game, and it goes up to, like, what, 300 bucks? And if you want the manual with, it's gonna be, like, a thousand dollars. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, you know? And the fans have always bitched at uh, Reggie to release Mother 3, and if you don't know... The series is called Mother in Japan, and, well, the first one was on NES or Famicom. What we're playing right now is Mother 2, and the third one is Mother 3, and there was actually a fan translation, because Mother 3 was never released in the States, which was so good that most people played, quote-unquote, officially with the fan translation. You know, being a fan of the series, it's a little bit of a suffrage, but... <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a dog. <laughs> If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Get out of here, dog. All right. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. A bee, I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future, and 
in the future all is devastation. Gaius, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygas Monster's plan had been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Three things are the most of it most importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legend from the ancient times tells of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes, Owl from Ocarina of Time. I hate to go over it again, but I guess it'll start... Oh, oh. I was being ironic about it. I actually didn't want to press no. That's ironic, because I, I, I was making a joke about the Ocarina of Time, Owl, and I actually did what I was spoofing. I am fucking stupid. Remind me when you see a radio shack. You see, Ness was not only deaf, but he was also stupid. Alright. Yes, I did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Puns. Ness. It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, you said, or he said. I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right on my chest. That's because you're fat. You are having what they refer to as a heart attack. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. <laughs> yeah. The Starman Jr. You know what? I'm not gonna do anything. Bus Bus will do all the work. I always thought the Earthbound backgrounds in the battles is some of the trippiest shit you'll see on this nest. It's it's so weird. It looks like an old like 60s like music video or something. It's just like it's so bizarre. <laughs> you, I was taking a big chance there. I came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we. He came, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Well, that's a, that's some music. He came. Finger snapping good. Where in Sam hell have you boys been? I'll have you think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Get out of here. Ow. Oh. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Ah! I think it's a dog beetle. I'll smash your guts out. No, boss buzz. No. 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 Uh, uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. 
The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You are a very intelligent young man and... No, the pain, everything is getting dark. Before I go on, I want to tell you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the entire sanctuary location. <coughs> By the way, I'm always gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, I'm good. Good. It is already done outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm feeling fast. <coughs> Damn it. Well, I think I just developed, like, throat cancer hardcore. Dance. Ugh. Well, boss boss, you were a hero until the end. I will not make your death in vain. I will avenge you. Plus, I'm blue and watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? You sure can. Just kidding. Big watch out is my job. You look like a crackhead. I'm gonna do the library. Fuck this. Hi. Kids can borrow only maps in this library. Do you want to borrow one? Here's a map. Oh, that isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the X button. Located near the top. <laughs> One day I will own this land. And you'll be the first to go. What a cute yellow backpack. I am the destroyer of worlds. And the destroyer of worlds demands a hamburger. That's right. Hamburger. I am a psychic warlord. I can explode galaxies with my mind. Oh shit. They'll get run over now. Don't you think you can get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get for you? Hamburger. Hamburger. 14 bucks for a burger, yeah. Hey, prime rib. Jesus Christ. Secret. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. Yeah, I know you want it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Hey, Fedora man, are you gonna preach about atheism to me? I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her from me. After all, I'm single, oh, milady. Do you want to talk about Naruto? Uh, there's no god. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. No. Bad touch. Alright, so this will be our first experience with the local ruffians. And that will be none other than the sharks. And they dress like BDSM uh, ninjas. Here they are. And this was a very unique game when it came out. Because every else, you know, it was always this medieval, you know kill the dragon bullshit. Christ, usually this place is swarming with enemies. There's like nobody here. Well, this game is weird sometimes because when I want no enemies on screen, it's like it's full of them and well, it's the polar opposite right now. Here we go. Yeah. I never noticed that they're like skull people. That's that's awesome. Almost dead. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, people don't die in this game. They become tame, quote unquote. You look so helpless. Are you okay? I am a mind lord. Soon I'll be firing metal out of my fucking noggin and I'll be shooting fire on my fingertips. I'm not even joking about that. I'm, I'm gonna become a psychic warlord, man. Alright, let's look at the uh, thing here and I wanna go to the department store, the quote unquote drugstore as they call it. It was always weird for me because the first time I played this, my English wasn't as good and I thought, well, isn't drug a swear word? <laughs> yeah. $84, oh baby, I can probably buy a terrible triple AAA game from GameStop. This this game makes you happy, and for people that I introduce Earthbound to, there's a tonal shift towards the end of the game, but for now, it's just like a Monster Squad kind of, you know, adventure, like, yeah, adventure game. 
but towards the ending, it, it gets very dark. One thing that's very good about Earthbound 2 is the fucking music. It's one of the most bizarre, surreal soundtracks I've ever heard. It goes from, like, rock and roll stuff, like old 60s stuff, to, like, just German ass-fuck techno. It's, it's fantastic. And I have a another hamburger, yes. Yeah, level- Oh, baby! Uh, so I'm gonna go to the department store and not get run over by this truck. Oh my god! This game is based on the, uh, quote -unquote. Oh no, I stole my hamburger. And I'll never get that back either, which is fucking awful, but... One amazing thing with Earthbound, though, is that if you're strong enough, say you're, like, level... 10. These low mooks, they'll instantly die as you're touching. You don't even have to go in the battle system. Mind bullets. Alright, let's get that, get that cookie. The cookie! The nookie! Pokemon invented the term grind. I thought grind was a six move. Maybe Pokemon invented six. That's that's a that's a shower thought. They are surprisingly deep games too. Oh shit! Oh, he's stuck in that guy. Look at that. Well, I've never seen. Well, that's that's just sad. And he's stuck in the truck. Well, whoa! whoa no, no, no. Oh god damn it! You know what? Earthbound is one of those games where you hum and sing over the the music a lot. I like to beat this game. And there's some sharks that are gonna punch me in the dick. You know why RPGs are addicting? I'll summarize it for one reason. Getting stronger and knowing that enemies are beneath you. To crush your enemies and see them to even before you. <laughs> and hear the lamentation of their women. Yeah. That's exactly what RPGs are about. To have your enemies be fucking annihilated. To have them run in fear and basically, no, I am so strong, you are nothing to me. Because this game makes enemies actually run in fear if you're strong enough. <laughs> you sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lip here, I'll kick your butt. Hey kid, do you wanna become a member? Nah. Nah, I I'm not into like, full body latex arcade... Fun times. What are they wearing anyway? Jesus Christ, they look like black condoms with goggles. Don't be such a snob. <laughs> they really do look like condoms. <laughs> I made my own costume as a kid, by the way. I just took a sock, put it on my head, and, and made cut out of holes for the eyes. <laughs> I'm Frank, Jor. Come on, can't you at least say your name? As some music. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the scared man. Says something nasty. Basically, told me go step on a Lego. Take that evil boss. Feel proof. Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> And this is Frankenstein Mark II! Yeah, there we go. Destroyed, man. <laughs> this is my first defeat. Failproof Frank. This, no, just failure Frank! I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. Let allow certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy on that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the touring entertainment shack. Perkle, the mayor of Wanette, has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Frank, you, you, you look like my uncle, I swear to God. Whenever you uh, kill a boss in this game, you kind of... Make them your bitch, and they don't fuck with you. <laughs> I must be the happiest man in the world. I can protect my brother in the scenic spot. I'll send my horny melody throughout the town. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. See the to see the snake. See how afraid he is. The snake fears me. That's what I was talking about. I always wonder why there's Charlie Chaplin on this billboard. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's alright if you forget. I forget everything. Who am I? <laughs> hey, I'm Major B.A. Sprinkle. It's so nice to meet ya. 
You beat up the town boys, punched them on big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. W what? You want a key to the Tory Entertainment Shack? Someone with greatest view, give you the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes, Mayor. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Am I not stuck? Want a hint? Eagle at Hint Union. Wish they had stuff like that in real life. Give me a hint, man. Hey, dog. Bow wow, don't you think I'm an Do this, Mr. Rossetti. I'm not your enemy. I am a simply your average run of the hill of the mill mall. That is a sprite. Now, that is a video game sprite. Two frames is all you need, man. Go in the hole. The hole. <laughs> you know what this music is? Hangover music. <laughs> There's seasoning in this game where you can just put hot sauce on like a popsicle. Basically, it's, it, it increases the HP recovery. It's kind of amazing. You want to know some fun trivia? This game has a very, very, very evil way of uh, deleting your save files if uh, the game is pirated. This game would detect that it's a ROM, and what it would do is, towards the end of the game, the last fight, it, it would just freeze, and when you booted up the game again, it just, uh, <laughs> it just deleted your save file. Oh shit. Here's what I mean! Oh, that, 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 that. Looks like you got your ass handed to you, so how about giving it another shot? Yes, god. I'll try. RIP. Oh shit, here we go, here here we go! One of my favorite guys in the game. You guys ready? Are you fucking ready for this? Of course you are. Pixels taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I'd say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Whoa, what a great photograph! It will always bring the fondness of memories. Spin! Later, Jesus. There's a little funny thing that I've always noticed about the photograph guy. Whenever he swoops down and asks you to take a picture, if you have party members with you, they don't smile or react in any way, shape, or form. Ness is the woman who reacts. You know those stupid game theory guys? Maybe they can be like, Well, Ness was in a coma, and it's all in his brain. The fussy dickles theory. That's my theory. Ness was in a coma, and he sees a demonic photograph guy. <laughs> Guts went up by three, luck went up by three, maximum HP, and... Sweet! PSI Metal. Here we go. I can shoot fucking metal out of my skull now. However, I think game theories that are, like, in canon with the game are more interesting and, and plausible, and I'd rather listen to them than be like, Ness is gay. Alright, check this out. PSI Metal. Ready to unleash this fucker? Chase my lightning, fucker! Yeah, look at that. And they all get butchered at the same time. <laughs> I love that. Oh man, that XP feels good. Get her butterfly. The butterfly recovers your pee pee. It's the pee pee. The white pee pee. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Ant Man. It's the combine. There we go. Uh oh. Don't die now. Eat that shit. <laughs> If you have enough guts, you can survive a a blow to your head, basically, and still have time to eat a sandwich. Nuclear coffee cups. What is Ant-Man's power, anyway? Does he just, like, fucking eat sugar cubes and, and get burned by magnifier glass? I don't know. Not my pee-pee. Don't steal my pee-pee now, Ant. That's, that's lewd. Would you like an ant job? Hey, we did it. High five. That's right. High five through the internet. All right, here's the first, uh, first so soundstone thing.
Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Ness a soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Yeah. I feel great. That's a hard question. Check this out, by the way. I conquered this area. All the enemies are, like, really afraid of me now. So I feel really powerful, man. Hey, you. The board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? I'm dyslectic, you asshole. What a rebellious kid. Come to the Onet police station later. I'm gonna go to a hotel and get a good night's rest. Cause I need it, man. I'm a fucking little boy. I use my mind bullets to kill ants, and I... I eat hamburgers or them. A nightly rape is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and the rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. Welcome to Hotel Onet. A one night stay will cost you... Thirty-five dollars, would you like to stay? I would like to stay. Yes, yes, yes. Have a nice day. Yes, I'm, I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Man, Skype sucks these days. I can't hear get any good connection. My mind Skype. I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin board he encounters. Then he says, Check a Rooney. Is that you? Do I look like Alvin the public masturbator to you? So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you'll listen here. Don't enter means just that do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders. Blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Uh, blah, 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 it's usually the local whiners that you make a big deal about the emerging as meteorites and blah, 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 blah. Police brutality. You remember when you were 10 years old and the whole police squad attacked you with karate chops? Do you remember the 90s? Yeah, some JoJo bullshit. Look at that pose. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. PSI life up. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're back. Don't bother yourself with t with talking now. You should look too tired. Mother should understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot off to bed. Now that's mom for you, man. That's why I love mom. Eating pizza and going to bed. I love you, mommy. Thanks for restoring my pee pee, mom. Ooh, ooh. Let's do this again sometime. How about no? Nuclear suplex attack. <laughs> There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so we get ready for my super ultra mambo tango fox or my GLR with edit. <laughs> yeah, I'm in here. Go find another can. <laughs> I was just joking. I'm in here for strangling somebody. Alright, Ness open the present. The hamburger inside. Yeah. Look at my cheeks. A growing boy needs his vitamin uh F. Bicycle, which will... Oh shit, it's time! It's time! <laughs> Spin! Yeah! Pictures taken instantaneously. Whoa, what a great photograph! Spin! That's right. Let's go get Paula. Mr. T! So some weird bad guy falling, Paula! This guy gave me the creeps! Oh shit, I almost ran over. And here's Runaway 5, the blues group in the game. I love these guys. We, that's right, we're the Runaway 5. We're popular, but we're not rich. We're being cheated by this tealer, we're really deep in debt. I love standing in a queue. I always love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Cunt. Magic butterfly made me relax. I sell fresh eggs. There'll be 12 big ones. Shit, I can't afford one. Hello, would you like some seasoning to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasons will sprinkle ultimately. They come in these cute little packs and jars. What kind do you like? I would like a jar of hot sauce, because that goes on anything. Ness took the jar of hot sauce and used it on the hamburger. Yeah, it didn't taste very good. This kid obviously doesn't have taste buds. He has got like shit tongue. What? You actually willing to help finance the project? I will, I will, I will. Finance your your Kickstarter scam. Oh goody! Would it be okay to get two hundred dollars to buy materials? No, Steve Jobs. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? What can you give me? You have a sandwich, you fat fuck. Thanks. What? Hello, it's your dad. 
You've been out there for a long time now. I may be not a American business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No, Dad, I'm playing video games. Look at that kitty. That's a cat. That's a qualified cat. Paul is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Hey, what's up? Homeless crackhead? I heard a meteorite crash on top of a hilltop near on it. I must have been exciting. <laughs> Why don't we chat late after we locked horns? I wonder if there's any human being on Earth that has e ever dread on his arm. This sprite? I pity this human being, but I also- I also envy them because they live in such blissful ignorance. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Brooklyn Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know what you want to find out about an evil girl- uh, can't talk. To find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Alley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit are kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. So you better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget! By the way, I could really use $200. Thank you. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. That's got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. I'm gonna kill some people now, and then I'm gonna go to jail. Oh my fucking god! See, even though this game says that whenever you quote unquote defeat people, they say they turn back to normal, but I just like imagine that my psychic powers rip out people's like spines and eyeballs explode. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking aced it. Yeah, I would like to order. No, uh, no, 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 no. I don't, small piece. Of, I'm, I'm not a baby. I'm a man. I got like two, two uh, hairs on my my scrot. I don't pay taxes yet, but I'm a fucking man. I heard that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping you out at the pole star. Hope of helping you at. The Polestar Preschool sounds like a fucking stripper club, but for like babies. <laughs> it's like you know, know those like old cartoons with like babies with beards, with cigars and like a uh, uh, angry brow, and they got like a five o'clock shadow. They're all going, take it off, take it off, baby, and it's just a, a sloppy wet poop diaper comes, you know, whew, sexy. I need help. Pole star. Goo goo gaga, baby. I predict pizza right now. 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 God damn it. In fact, whenever the pizza guy shows up, I'm gonna show you it. Which will be right now. 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 Oh, fuck it. Pizza's never gonna come anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't fucking have pizza anyway. Ketchup on a pizza? You fucking moron. What? So what? Huh? Pun? This guy. It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Oh ho ho, see ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ching! Sweet! Hey. P -p -p paula where are you? Time for yummy pizza pie! Teddy beers, for example. Carrying a beer and riding a pause with that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm choking on my own cock. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Straight out of Onet. Fuck. The. Pull. Please. Look how happy Ness is. Look at him. Oh shit, there's two Dr. Phil. Oh god, hippies too. Later. 
Oh shit! Oh go! You're wily coyote. Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! <laughs> okay. Cancer ghost. Ghost blowjob! You know, I think I talked about this earlier, but why the fuck is there- All the ghosts in the world is always some, like, dumbass Victorian-era ghost. Like, why isn't there, like, a ghost from p present day that got his neck chopped off? Like, I've said this before, but god damn it, come on. And why isn't there, like, a, a, a ghost animal? I mean, I know there's ghost dogs, but what about, like, a, a ghost crab? Or, like, a, a ghost jellyfish in my bathroom? Just kinda go... <laughs> It's like shit. I gotta like lure it out now with with like spooky snacks. I, fuck, I don't know. Anyway, you probably check this out. You're like, what the fuck is this? For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. And you're like, well, well, what the fuck do I do now? Well, we just gotta head back in. You know the dimension that Apple Kid was talking about? Well, that's our first clue. The present. Inside the present, there was a skip sandwich. You know what? I'm actually gonna skip ahead and just outrun these guys. Later, Spader. Oh, 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 shit, oh! Skills. You know what? I'm, I'm very curious about, like, American uh, medicine and, and common, like, department store cures for sickness and stuff like that. Is pepto bismol like, actually good tasting? It looks like it. It looks like, like, melted ice cream. I bet it tastes nothing like melted ice cream, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, it tastes like shite. I wouldn't last a day in America. I would just buy everything that's like pink or, or fluffy colored, and I'd just I'd just make a smoothie out of everything just having a heart attack. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've just finished working on this invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam beep. Oh give me this, give me this. Give me this. Give me that um to fat. Go on diet. I won't fit. I am a giant shit. Holy fuck. I can't believe this shit. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just not used near a shop that sells pencils. What's up, dog? BAM! Pencil eraser, there we go. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Wait a minute, there's a girl that collects these. Oh, oh, here we go, the controls are all fucked up now. Ooh, this is funky as shit. Ooh, oh man. Okay, so right is down. <laughs> okay, now it now it's... Uh, all different too. Oh my god. Ugh. Help me, mushroom lady. I, I'm I'm having brain damage. Humdy dumdy do. Sure would. So what I meant by chasing these enemies, what you do is you kind of like. Oh shit, that's a tree, by the way. You do this. You go off screen and enemies disappear. Sometimes. Sometimes. Like, it doesn't always work, but generally you can hope for it. You know what? I'm gonna outsmart this tree. Oh my god. Uh oh, that was a bad choice. Now there's gonna be a ton of enemies up ahead. I oh shit, that's a tree. I've heard people breaking their fingers and they haven't realized it. Which makes me question, like, pain is so subjective. Some people can, like, get kicked in the teeth and they're like, ah, whatever. Or they tell stories about that time they got, like, you know, injured by a rusty nail on their- Oh shit, I walked right into the goddamn tree. But pain is so subjective. Some people, they- they withstand, like, some- Like, they, they can take a 2 by 4 in the fucking neck. And they just shrug it off. While some people just, you know, they, uh, they smash their toe into, you know, the, uh, the wall in the morning, like me, and scream like a little piglet. Like, Rah! The worst p pain in the world is this, like, ant. It hurts so much, people have, like, jumped off cliffs. This is Happy Happy Village, by the way. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. N no. I'll be your shadow then. 
Get away from me. Bad touch. You know the feeling when you're you're sober at a, at a party with your friends and they're all drunk and you're just like, man, man, I'm not having fun. The insane cult has trapped you. They look like monster condoms for my magnum dong. Yeah, let me just deal with this KKK member for a second here. I'm finding the cool kids club. Whatever happened to the swear zone? There was like an anti-swear zone for kids. Like, no swearing club. I'd like to join that club and see how long I can go without swearing, because I can do it unintentionally. See, I, I don't want to offend people by saying fuck. I just say it in, in sentences to, like, add more power to sentences. The no cussing club, there we go. Man, how great would it be if I was the president of that? Like, I ran this company for like 30 years, and we have this like 30 year anniversary, and I'm just like, all right, listen guys, I just scammed you all. All your club membership, I was just buying PCP with your money. Fuck you all. Suck my fat man clit. Fuck you. Suck my anus. Anal blast. And then I just put on sunglasses and kind of skateboard through the window and and lit the place on fire. Is damn considered a swear word in America? Damn. Damn. It sort of is. Isn't there like a level of swearability? <laughs> you know what I mean though. Like, th there's a level of con toxic containment in in each swear word. Like, let's say a level between 1 till 10. Let's say darn is a level 1, and, like, booger is level 10. <laughs> I'm not sure. Boing! Friends in valley behind three. Ding ding. There was a kid that actually got suspended for saying, uh, you won't believe me for this, but I, I, I am not making this shit up. He got suspended for saying, and before you listen to this, I want you to realize, English for Swedes at this time, or whatever reason, these were really old teachers, and they believed English curse words were like, a step beyond. Like, it was really bad to say these words. We weren't allowed to swear, and to swear in English was even worse. And this kid literally got suspended for saying to a teacher, Fuck a duck. Yeah, fuck a duck. That was like the worst ever. It was bad, man. Bad. Anyway. Who? Are, are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I wouldn't have tried to... <laughs> I would have had... I can't English night, it's getting late. I would have tried to <laughs> try to bust out of here. Franklin Batch, okay? Hey, Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us. But I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Pokey, you asshole. I do like this crow just randomly joins in. He's not supposed to be in this battle, but he always chucks in. <laughs> I know a lot about cults, and that, that's weird, but... Uh, there's a cult in Japan called Aonuma, I think, that... It's basically somebody that thought it were Japanese Jesus, with the power of yoga. They could, like, shoot fireballs out of their, their fingers. I also talked about Finnish Satan Nazi man. Fucking... Grandpa... Nazi... Black Magician Master. Watch out, he'll ruin your day. He sounds like Wolfenstein, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grandpa, are you confused again? Did you take your medicine? Oh, you're ranting about the Jews and Satan again? Grandpa, don't you remember us? And Grandpa's like, You Jews! Taste my lightning, fucker! Mind bullets. Blue, blue, you strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven. Well, it's certainly one way to avoid censorship. Hey. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? Uh... N yes. You fool! I've drawn you into my trap. Wait a minute, he can't actually hurt me because I got the Franklin badge. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can't. 
I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the magic cavern where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Nah, so let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Okay, okay. Ha! <laughs> I lied. See you, sucker! Pokey! Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous. We can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Yeah, yeah. First party member, man. Uh-uh. Feels good. Paula joined you. Sweet. Uh, so we just got Paula, as I said, and uh, we uh, defeated the happy, happy village. And immediately we graded my fussy pickle, so woo. Pics is taking it instantaneously. Whoa, what a great photograph. Spin. Hey, Jason. You really think it was a bad guy? Bad boy? Ba bad boy? Isn't that like a, a term for a stripper? <laughs> and I see this kid playing, what was it, Roblox or something like that? And I swear to God, this kid was like intentionally chewing on stream, going, "You guys want some peanuts?" <laughs> A lot of enemies in this game is very. Look at that bear, by the way. Look at him. That is a murder machine. They'll fuck you up big time. You gotta watch out, man. Don't touch him. He'll kill your family twice, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little trick in Earthbound where I actually avoid the enemies by pussying out. Look at this. I'm just like, nah, avoid conflict, man. Pacifist run. You think I'm, I can make it through here without- No, the bear's gonna fuck me up. You know, I'm just gonna like this. Yeah! Pro- Oh, shit! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, man! <laughs> you know what? Like it, like it, like it, like it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, bad choice. Oh, don't touch me. No! <laughs> Wait, I, I have the advantage here. I have the advantage. Oh, sweet. This was the best thing. You can actually run away every time if you get the green flash. Lag it. Lag it. I love the expression. Lag it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. No more. No more. You know what? I also love the word pussyfooting. That should be the most kinky and disgusting and raunchy word in the English dictionary. Pussyfooting. It sounds like something a Japanese would come up with. It's just... Oh man, Paula's dead. Well, I'm gonna have to exit out of this this cave and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, get her back. I can't believe Paula's dead. Claws. I have never seen a mole in real life. Have you? There's a lot of hedgehogs in Sweden. There used to be this legend of a hedgehog back on my streets as a kid. We had a three-legged hedgehog, but he was like super fast. I don't know what you're thinking, but it was like a paraplegic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And my friend actually took care of it and fed him cheese. Which apparently shouldn't do with a hedgehog. Why is it that I feel more safe having money uh, stuck under my mattress than having a bank hold my money? I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a technophobe. That's actually a real thing. People that are afraid of technology. Like, they reject technology in fear that'll, like, take over one day. There were some people that actually believed Y2K. People are always afraid of something. Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Oh, two beds. Oh man, two beds. I know what's been going on. Yeah, <laughs> even the couches know what's going on. Look at that, look at that couch. He's like, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I <laughs> Welcome to Pennsylvania. Sort of reminds me of Penn Island. Google that link and see where that gets you. Penis Slovenia. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, another croissant too. <laughs> Baguette. <laughs> It's your console. Mm -hmm. Mother 1 on the NES was supposed to be called Earthbound in America, but then Mother 2, which is this, became Earthbound, which is the title of the first game. You, you know what? Just just call it 
boy with 50s cheeks melts hippie brains the game. Don't make it so fucking complicated. <laughs> you know what I would call Earthbound? Nuclear psychic warfare. Blood vengeance. And I'd make the cover art like super like edgy and 90s. I'd have like Rob Liefeld draw it and make it totally radical. Yeah, this is definitely Silent Hill 2. You remember the part where uh, zombies try to kill you? Like, Resident Evil zombies, and you were like, oh shit, on the edge. Rip James. And I actually brewed some coffee, and I haven't drunk any of it. It's a whole cup, and it's cold coffee. Let's take a, take a taste test. Ooh. Mmm, tastes like shit. Mm. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh god. Oh! Here, here's the boss. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. And it's the combine murder on the mole. Look, look at that guy. Watch out. Let's see. Hidden swastika, man. There we go. Now I can't do anything back. Now this whole battle is just kind of a joke. I just imagine that he's like on the floor, on the floor rolling around completely numb and stale and we're just kind of like kicking him on the floor. What's that marinara sauce on his, on his, uh, hands? Alright, so you smash and you are dead, fucker! <laughs> awesome. Marinara, marinara, you know what I mean. This briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. And that's a soundstone recorded the melody of the lily footsteps. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know it's bad when the entire screen. Oh Jesus Christ! They're still the, the, the sprout is stealing my pee pee. Oh God! Ah! Ooh, ooh! I'm a little bit. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't touch me! Anyway, we're back here. He's he's smiling. Is he a fucking strangle murderer? Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own hand and aid. <laughs> oh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand aid. Hand aid. <laughs> hand aid. Oh, what's up? What's... Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may not of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? How? Fucking dare you! All right, Dad, just stop, S stop, stop. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I see these sofas, all I see is smiley faces. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's ten thousand dollars. Use the money in a way you like. You can't refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue. The layer exaggerate didn't read anything on it. Oh god, my throat is killing me. I'll see you another time in another space. Hey, got a lot of bills. Oh man, we're rich now. <laughs> Economical bullshit. Oh jeez, I got hit by Duke Nukem. You don't just hate it when Duke Nukem fucking runs you over in the street. I'm gonna run over some kids. Wheels of steel. <laughs> the runaway five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off the debt. <laughs> it just so happens that I have a hundred million dollars. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a prison play, boy. Here's a backstage pass. Get into our shows with this. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, please. 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 Spin. Stop following me. <laughs> Whoa, what a great photograph. Get out of here. Yeah, I came with Paula. Oh, man. Look at all these people. We haven't got drunk Miyamoto. I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good looking waitresses, and there's no room for me to show up my latest dance moves. I sure do like baseball. I knew it. Your cap gave it away. Shabadoo up till it does. Shabadoo ba ba. I got those dead blues. Mm -mm -mm. 
if I had ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. Yeah, that's right. Tonight you got the Chaos Theater Soul Man coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues band, the Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Ugh. Give it up. Shit. Oh yeah. Ugh. 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 The dance moves of the century. The Runaway Five are so sexy. My husband definitely is in need of some help in that area. Oh, can you say those words in the Nintendo game? Sexy. That's a bit risky, man. A hundred million dollars. Yipes! You surprised me. I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, but I know the Runaway Five are free to leave. I got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nippet took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow, this means we get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next show. Now, down, I'm sure old Honka Jonka will get to there. <laughs> I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? All right, let's go to three. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus, Yamahura. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, Sawa, get out of my way. We're on a mission from God. Sunglass at night. Dance, dance. We like to party. Yahahuru. Yahua. Russian acrylic. Y you know what I mean. A cheeky breaky. When we go left, we're Russian. When we go right, we're American. The vodka bus. So here's Zombie Town. Looks like we're out to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little band of sunshine. Later, one away five. Love to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Forsyth. <laughs> They're schizophrenic with their voices. They don't. They don't know what they want to be. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Freed. Let's listen to the uh, the town's incredible. Uh, <laughs> Incredible plan to defeat the zombies. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know. Why don't we all get the zombies in the stand and then set them on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. H here's an idea. Use the guns. I all right, here's a zombie question. If there was zombies in real life, do you think the military would be able to wipe them all out? You know what I think? Within like two hours, all zombies would be dead. If you're talking like slow zombies, there's no way. There's no fucking way the military just can't just just stand for a distance, shoot them in the head, and kill them. Just, I don't know why slow zombies are such a threat. They're basically, you know, hobos that are like chew your 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 jugular vein. It's like, come on, a giant bee. <laughs> okay, okay, a giant bee. Do you think the military could defeat a giant bee in New York City? I love Japan. I'd love to go there and like, you know, get drunk with Japanese businessmen and like piss off the Yakuza, but that thing will like plop and sting your fucking skull and your head will explode like <laughs> Why do wasps exist? And I say they bring us pain? What do you think wasps do? What is their function? Their purpose is to cause pain and they drive me insane. Eat other insects? Oh, so you, oh, okay. So, so you're you're bringing the argument that they do exist to bring pain. You know what? If they if they ever would put their functionality on a resume, if I was an employer of a company and a wasp came in with a little suitcase and a hat and they gave me a, a resume, you know, I'd see on the paper, what is your prior job to this? And this asshole, giant asshole. I'm just like, I'll call you. If a bumblebee came into my work, then I, I just, I'd just be okay with him. I'd be like, you know what, you're hired. No spiders, though. Let's go check out some of the enemies in this place. They're kind of weird. <laughs> hey, speaking about bumblebees and, and other shit. Paul, you can use, uh, freeze on the smelly ghost. I guess if you th thought this game was weird before then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, look at those ghosts! Hey, ghosts, how's it going? 
Oh shit, the garbage tank attacked me too. <laughs> That's amazing. Never have me play a text adventure game, because all I'm gonna do is like try to sleep with the enemy or like eat them. I eat pillows myself and I just try to like kill myself by jumping off cliffs. Like don't give me this kind of power, man. Alright. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. <laughs> At least they're like zombies that don't eat you immediately. Chad, what is your favorite zombie? Voodoo zombie? Fast zombie? Slow zombie? Demon zombie? Uh, there you go. There's the hotel woman. Okay, before I do that though... Oh, oh, listen to that music! So good! Just, just take it in. Oh. Oh. Oh, so good! Drunk as shit. The sexiest part. You know you won't steal my my life seed yet, you succubus. Hey. Oof, it's so good. Oh shit. Man, I got blue balled again. Uh oh. You're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friends? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! Wake up, my son! Wake up, Chrono. Hey, Tony. Ah, Jeff. I, I just dreamed that you and I were taking a wank. I'll help you get out of here. Tony! Tony! Tony's best friend. He's got like a little, uh, Jew hat on. And he's always confused and mesmerized. I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father. Dr. Andonauts were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's a greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Better meth. I can't tell if that's like sleepy eyes or just goggles. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> and donuts. Dr. Dick and Nuts. If you're Andonuts, son. Andonuts. Andonuts. Am I pronouncing this wrong? I've always said Andonuts, though. I bet there's some guy who goes, It's not Andonuts. God, Joel. Did you not read the original manga? Oh, God. You, you, you only read the anime, right? I know I know kids who got, like, the most ridiculous, ridiculous locks for, like, uh, you know. Tony, what are you doing? What is Tony doing? Tony. Tony. That is not how you 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 race another man over the. F to what is you doing, Tony? Go to Sunday school, learn some values, you fucker. <laughs> We're best friends forever. Tony. Tony. Hang on, I never noticed that Jeff is such a big ass. Look at that. He's got like a Brazilian Brazilian woman's ass. Look, when I dance, look at this. Good God. Monkey! There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. So do you want him? Sure. The bubble gum here is incredible. You should see the size of the bubbles I can blow. Uh, what about else? The size of something you blow on? You look like a crackhead. Thanks, the monkey's juice. Oh, get it, bubble gum. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and it blew a bubble. Little didn't know it's like a condom that he's blowing up on. This monkey's a little bit derpy. He uh, stops in his tracks and runs after you. I love the monkey. So where we last left off, we got Bubbles the monkey, and yeah, I love this little monkey friend. Dance with me, man. So why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink. Grab some tea. All right. Give me the tea. You guys like tea? Give me some gum now. Q -q -q. I'll take care of everything. Blow that condom. The blue sc clues for Smash. That's what I want. It's Tessie! Yeah! Look at that. 
Love Tessie. <laughs> now that, if that's not the best sprite in all of SNES history, I don't know what it is. You know what I never noticed? The monkey has some big nipples. It's <laughs> monkey! I don't know if I agree with these choices. <laughs> Alright. Oh, these goats just explode you into gore. They turn you into fucking cat food. Avoid them like the plague, man. They are dangerous. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm dead. Well, you know why Bayonetta's not too, too sexually suggestive for Smash? First of all, isn't Zero Suit Samus like, you know, showing the kids a lot of, like, life? What life's all about? Secondly, isn't Shulk wearing, like, male prostitute pants? Why can't Bayonetta be a part of that, too? You know what? Fuck you, Gold. I'm, have this. Eat this. See that? 475 damage. That gold is so dead, I, I smashed his atoms, man. Oh, dude! Oh, dude, this is a big part of the game. Dude, shit, I just remembered. This is where Brick Road is, and this has my favorite enemy in the game. Earthman has a sprite of a duck, and the duck looks like he's... I, I don't even know what emotion he's expressing, but it's, it's fucking amazing. Hopefully it doesn't crit me, which he won't, like... Damn, yeah, there you go. I'm fucking dead. It's sad, but- Oh, here's the duck! Here's the duck! Look at this! This duck is the most amazing sprite work ever made. Look at him! Look at him! Holy shit! The mad duck! <laughs> he is beauty. He is grace. I, I, I don't know what, what this this duck is conveying. Is he, like, staring at somebody's butt? Like, is he, is he an ass man? Like, look at that booty. <laughs> he can see forever. Finding a dragon dildo right now. Ducks are assholes in real life. No, 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 no. L let me reiterate that. It's not ducks that I hate. It's the fucking geese. You wanna know why? Because they're ungrateful assholes. They're the most vile, fucking disgusting creatures on the planet. I'm really mad about them, because you know why? I fucking gave a geese a loaf one time. And how did it pay me? It, it loved the loaf. It took the whole loaf, wrestled with it, and ate it down, and it loved it. And after that, you know what it did? It fucking swore at me. I mean, it didn't like, verbally say, fuck you, but it's like, he it wheezed at me, like, you know, like, you know. <sighs> you know what? Pigeons are the smartest fuckers in the animal kingdom, you know why? Because instinctively, they have learned to trust human beings. Instead of being scaredy cats and, like, running away, they develop a natural strategy of saying, all right, you know what? Humans are gonna throw fucking bread at us. We're gonna survive. Just take it fucking easy. And when you up to a sparrow, they, like, have a fucking coronary when you even look at them. They go like, Blah! Oh, the present, there's a stun gun inside. It's sweet. I can, I can taste her ducks now. <laughs> Heard you talking shit. You know what I love? I love monkeys, like Hollywood monkeys that drink beer and, like, have sunglasses and smoke cigars. Let the monkeys smoke. Come on. Just let them fucking smoke. Oh, damn it. I'm dead. The bubble monkey took a piece of bubble gum, chewed it, and started blowing. You can blow me. I would eat 15 crabs. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. <laughs> so this is the the uh, the caveman in this game. Yeah, this game has fucking Neanderthals just wandering around. Not only is that strange enough, this is Stonehenge. This is literally Stonehenge. In the middle of like, you know, I'm gonna pretend this is like Norway, all right? You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs have often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. What, 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 my son. Uh, I, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Now, if my son wandered into my home, I would definitely offer them a donut. How about a soda? A carbonated soda? How about some snacks? Alright, yes, absolutely. I'd also like a donut right about now. 
Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Stonehenge? By the way, why are you here? Uh, oh, I, I, I see. That girl named Paula must have sense I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a face distorter that connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in! Let's get together again in ten years or so. Fuck you, Dad. Alright, Dad. Catch the lead. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to sound... This is the shit I did all the time. I would scribble... <laughs> <laughs> there was a theory fucking everywhere and pretend I'm smart. I didn't know what this stood for. I was just like, this is smart people talk, you know? I was just like, E equals MC2. Yeah, MC2. You know. <laughs> I'm just like, this is super math, you know? Super math. Who, who, who's Einstein? What's what, what's a theory? What, what's relative, huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, dance. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright. Smack. Man, oh man, did they ever scare me? The Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Uh, oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, and kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, o okay? No, I don't deal with nerds. All right, let's get back to the journey then. Cheer. Now, Jeff is a fucking, like, warlord. He's a combat master. Hang on, now that we actually got Jeff, we can buy like illegal shit. I love this is the black market. She don't talk to loud what you want. I got what you need. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Wait a minute. I can buy the toy air gun for Jeff. Jeff, log this around, you asshole. <laughs> yeah. How is a toy air gun more effective than a stun gun? <laughs> What's up? The boogie tent! Fuck him up! Yeah, that's right, get fucked! <laughs> I won, man, I won! Frankly, I'm running scared! I don't mean that I actually run around, I just mean I'm frightened! Conditions in this town are getting worse! Blood go to help us, but you're plenty dog! Wait, whoa, this lady has got a deep voice. Steel tampons. How about you, fat ass? <laughs> you know what they get so fat? Their voice acting is resorts into fucking blubber. <laughs> What's up? Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just want to let you know I finished a pretty unique convention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. It's called zombie paper. It can be used to trap zombies. Or it's kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around here, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with the paper. I'm flat. Well, they're eating pizza. This weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to somebody named Ness. He's wandering around three. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness. And I'll give you this to you. Oh, he hello, Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness. No matter what. Zombie paper. Alright, get out of here, zombies. <laughs> Yeah, we caught a lot of zombies. Ah, ugh, it's really gross. I'll be the judge of that. Ah, fuck that. Zombie paper really works. So I hope somebody comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Try to possess you in a frightening manner. Jeff was possessed by a mini ghost. Adios mio. Fuck you, Australia. And there's a Japanese guy going. That's a movie. Run away! 
I said you had fly hoodie. I just said you're a friend. But actually just a commoner. I'm the mortal enemy of your kind. Stinky breath. Oh fuck. Oh, this is this is a disaster. I hate this. This is gonna be brutal because uh but, but <laughs> what an exciting boss battle, huh? It just it just nothing goes on forever. But I guess I guess I I am only my got my Whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! I really expect you to just sit there forever waiting for the fucking paint to dry, but okay. I want to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Bells and I love fly honey. <laughs> Quaker oats, dude, it's Quaker oats. There you go. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Is it is it time? Oh fucking hell! It's time, man. It's time! Time for one of the best things in the game! <laughs> well, here is a fucking angry, buff, uh, violent roach. And he's got little angry piss boots on. <laughs> He'll fuck you up. My fi 50s cheeks are rosy as hell. Look at that. Oh man. Who needs drugs when you have Earthbound, I guess? Alright. Soon! Soon! My favorite aliens of all time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Home. Yes, home to Mr. Saturn. We feel groove. Hi ho, me Mr. Saturn. This place, all our Mr. Saturn. Once upon a time, we were many, many, every day, slowly, are less, less. Why? Hmm. Boing! Here he is. Alright. Yes. I'm Mr. Saturn. Zoom! And I can repair your body. Boing! Do you want me to operate on you? Ding! Are you KO? Alright, that's great. Zoomer! Oh shit, I didn't do it right. Hang on. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sa oh no, you didn't let me do it. <laughs> Ding. All fixed up. Goody boing. Now, if I did Mr. Saturn, I'd be like, Once upon a time, you're many, many, every day slowly, or yes, yes, why, or boy. You know what? Hi, hi, hi. You come by? You can sell too. I, Mr. Saturn, boing, can do all for you. What do you want, Zoom? What you buying, Zoom? I want. The secret herb, the ganja man, a peanut cheese bar. It's like a bootleg Snickers, man. What do you mean I don't like snacks? <laughs> I eat snacks every day. Speaking about mega chips, in Finland they have something called mega pussy. Mega pussy. Why am I not surprised? Look at this. <laughs> Would you trust this creature? No, not with my life. But look or at him. My, or with my snacks. No, that's that's gross. But he just wants to give us all mega pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, boing, you have $380. We trade secret herb. Ganja man. So, boing, you have $1,780. We trade horn of life. Base secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say, say password. Then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Scary, scary guy. Boing! Grapefruit Falls. Scary, sick, barfy. Go and la la la. Ding! Scary! We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now. Zoom! I give you on the way back. Boing! Bye later. Mr. Saturn. <laughs> Destroyer of worlds. Pussy destroyer. Pussy <laughs> 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 All right, gotta destroy this roach. I love how angry he is. That's like a little old man. Like you, damn kids. Your kids and your Pokemon. Now we play the waiting game. Now we just gotta wait for three minutes. Don't touch the controller. Do nothing. America's like a jar of pickles, brother! 
And they're fuzzy, brother! Oh my god. Feed them as a <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here with the big city <laughs> toilet. Do you, do you guys know about 3 Dev Adam? Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. The gerbil of doom. Alright, anyway, uh, here is the Master Bell chide out. Did you buy some fly, honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Yes, I did. Okay, you may pass through. Hey, be careful. Be sure you don't drop it. Here, here's all the, uh, the pukes. <laughs> Turkish Danny DeVito, yes! <laughs> Gail the snail? <laughs> Alright. Burp! So are you, Ness? I see. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. You make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, it would have to be worse than the greatest evil. I'll take you down big time. It's good for the worst fight of your life. Look, I'm ready to pay the peel of true nausea. Come on, let's go. This game stinks. Oh, shit. There we go, finally. Come on, there we go, he's dead. He's dead, man. Looks like it was an even fight, but Master Gygus has managed to get the man in man statue to foresight. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Suffer, Spanky. <laughs> Burp. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing! Goody! Burp! You worn down? Ah! Boing! Burp! Barf! Stinky! Pee! You! Go in hot spring! Wash barf off your body! Drink coffee before go? Say yes to me? Say no to me? Yes! Bottoms up! Boing! Time to go all trippy! Ba bum bum Bum. You've traveled very far from home. This scrolls so slow. I can probably do like a slow motion voice. Do you remember how your long and winding journey began with somebody pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. <laughs> on your way, you have walked, th you have walked, thought, and fought. Yet through all this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. <laughs> Bum. Love this music, it's, it's funkalicious. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. I swear to God, he's like Norwegian. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You're radical. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. An ancient evil awakens. So... So slow... The journey from this point will be long, and it will even be more difficult than anything you have undergone by this to, to this point. Yet I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you, you believe wins? <laughs> do you have faith that good is triumphant? What did he put in this coffee? It's got it getting all deep. Turkish coffee. <laughs> One thing you must never lose is your courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. Sleep through a nuclear war. Yeah. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will keep begin again. Next, you must pass through the vast desert and Proceed to the big city of Forsyth. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ooh. Ooh. Forsyth and Moonside is one of my favorites, actually. Ness. Paula. Jeff. 
this is a pretty pretty trippy the background. I wish you luck. Thanks, mind. Thanks, God. Longer ladder. Can go to hot springs. Appreciate. I'm so happy, happy, happy. Zoom. All home. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! It's it's time. It's time, man. Spin. Oh, God damn it. Biggest thing is in Daniel's leader. Get out of here, asshole. Whoa, what a great photograph! Wait. But that's great. It's gonna be one of those, like, spooky pictures you see on the internet. You know, Jeff is dead. But the way Paula's feet are, with the way Jeff is... Like, look at Paula's feet in Jeff's eyes. <coughs> he has glowing red satanic ghost eyes. We got Satan in the picture. Spin! I thought the word booby trap was, like, the, the, uh, the, uh, the funniest thing on the planet. You know what I mean? It was like, it was so funny. I'll fussy your pickles, brother! I have a large pizza in inventory. Oh, I never knew that! Oh, you eat, you eat the large pizza together, man. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. That's amazing. Rambo has to be one of the creepiest goddamn enemies I've ever seen. They, they look like, uh... They look like, uh... Cactus strangle murderers, man. Rambo. Look at that face! Look at it! You finally got here. This is the third journal is actually your location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. The Shockmaster. How about some scat, you little twat? Yeah. Just suck it! I always saw this thing as a as a squirting butt. Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Yeah! Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. <laughs> Applied directly to the forehead. Still got a... Still got lots of way to go. I think the fourth one is actually real easy. I just gotta go to Winters and, and do some stuff. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm listening to Skrillex. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Thanks! Peace, love, cocaine! How about you, Jason? Zombies and ghosts are not on the loose anymore. Oh, oh yeah, you guys screwed in with the monsters. <laughs> Just a little shit. I gotta go get the bus. Can we please the bus stop? How do I do this again? Just, just wait? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Not now I'm being real stupid. No, I'm, I'm just supposed to wait, right? Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do this at all. Because you know what? Stop signs aren't fucking bus stops. It's a miracle I, I, I can breathe sometimes. You know what I mean? How do I even put pants on in the morning? God damn it, how stupid am I? This bus goes to Foyside. I can't let you on if you don't pay six dollars for the fare. Do you want to go? Okay, we're off. Ugh. Alright, you, you guys better... If you can't finger snap, then uh, do the thing where you put a thumb in your mouth and you go... All right. Or do the mouth thing. Man, it's bumper to bumper. I drove straight, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to go. Hey, it's a free country. I agree. I was going to see my girlfriend in Forsyth. At this pace, I'll be 100 years old by the time I get there. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go? Our paradise is beneath that hole. Monkey noises. Oh shit, I just remembered. This is where you can fucking gamble. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. Zold's Creek! Good old! Good old, good old! First, somebody asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? What if I give him a stag beer? Will I eat this? Come on, I can't eat this. Oh, fuck you then. Well, eat a goddamn pizza then, you pizza slut. 
piece of shit. Oh, he hello. I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. They'll make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? And he up. Alright, here we go, here we go. Fuck. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, man. I'm gonna fucking win. Alright. Oh, oh damn it. Ooh. Come on. We can do this. Oh yeah. Ooh. Go! 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 Oh. Alright, here we go. Seven! Oh shit! It's all in the mind! Amigo, you won! A very big winning, and you hit it! It's the prize for the inverted amigo! That's when his friends wanna be his like head of it! Wait, 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 that's it? That's it? But I thought it was like. I heard rumors in this game that if you got all the, the Sanchez brothers, like Sevens, you fucking got uh, Sword of Kings, some shit like that. No? You don't get that? It's a lie. Wait, Paula, whatever, eat this. <laughs> I forgot. Peace, I caramel doesn't trace PP, it only restores PP. So I. I won. Nothing. Well, I break a Windows 95, Windows 8.1. Well, I, I I broke a Windows 95 like a year ago. See, the thing with me doing a Windows 8 destruction, which I will do, I will do it. But the problem is that uh, it's already kind of destroyed for all the wrong reasons. It's a piece of shit. And I hate when I have to fix other people's PCs. And I'm just like, well, first of all, you're using Windows 8, so that that's a fuck up. So let me let me uninstall this blight. When did basic functionality and ergonomic, uh, when did good things become a bad thing? Like imagine with, with all the people at like Microsoft saying like, all right, gentlemen, we need a new feature on Windows 8. And like Jarvis goes, B boss, I, I think I have a great idea. And I go, uh, uh, what, what Jarvis, what? How, how, how about, how about we take everything and fuck it up? The theaters, get the meta promotion right now. And then Windows 8 existed, and all was bad. The end. So let's see, Windows 95, bad. Windows 98, good. Windows ME, shit. Windows XP, good. Vista, bad. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Windows 7 until... for probably like 10 years. Pokey, my main man. My reliant friend and... and always nice buddy that will, you know, always... Be there in the end. Oh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Uh, what's your name? Pig's blood. No, no mess. Did you come here to beg me for some money? Oh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Mr. Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? I'm now Gil Gilgardi, Monotoli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some rag looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. What's that, Junez? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! Fuck you, Pokey! Silver is going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. But they're. they're so horizontal. Kids are too stupid. You know what you do? You put them in cages with breathing holes, but no, uh, nothing so they can see through. Just, just chain them up in a box, feed them oatmeal through a tube, and, uh, have another tube for poop, and, uh, have a English dictionary on repeat on a CD. Leave that kid there in a box until he's the age of 12, let him out, and then he can do things. He's responsible now. Otherwise, they're gonna end up buying Warhammer figurines and destroying him or, or uh, you know, making Sonic uh, porn. What if you like drugs? Hey man, you know you know what? Some people see me as, as a hero, and I'm telling you right now, if, if you are a kid and you're watching this right now, there's nothing more fun than uh, sitting under a bridge injecting heroin into your cock at 3 p.m. in broad daylight, injecting DNA in your eyeball. It's a good idea. Hey kids! Don't you crack! Whack it off in the theater. You have to find buried gold, or you will never be able to base the loot on the bunny. <laughs> Again. We've been cheated by the theater owner. 
We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck. <laughs> but you guys are dicks. Have I got a bomb shell for you tonight, kids? Ow! And I come home! Run away from you! Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. We don't do crack, we just do it in your boyfriend's back. Oh, run away five. They, uh, we were in runaway five. Lyrics on the spot. Man's ass is we find hot. Blah. Jewel, how dare you use sneez? It's all about sneez 9x and beastness and uh, hygen. Sneez, I, I just like it's it's never like fucked up for me. That's the thing. Or cure fucking Jeff. I want somebody to draw that. I want I want somebody to draw Ness like using his mind powers to like extract poison out of like Jeff's mouth. Like how does that even work? Maybe like Ness makes up with Jeff. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a while, long while now. It's made me not. Shut up, dad. Just snack on a pizza in a dungeon, man. It's the 90s. I got bit by a snake on the dick. Quickly suck up the poison. <laughs> Am I five years old? And somebody's like, oh, I gotta save him. And they go like. <laughs> they're like, is the poison not yet? And they're like, not yet. I respect bumblebees. I don't go near them and start like, you know, tickling them. I've heard stories about that. People tickling bumblebees. Yeah, I, I tickled this bumblebee once. Like, let's be real. You snorted crack in on the fucking alleyway. That's what you did. You know, somebody's telling a lie when they're like, yeah, so I was uh, tickling this bumblebee and the bumblebee loved it. He, he even started laughing. Have you been hitting the MDMA again, Jeff? Yeah. Fuck a duck. I'm one of the masters of this hole. They're fry masters and all. We're all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strong among us. Take your best shot. I got marinara sauce all over my mole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small house, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in the maze. Oh, you have him already. Poop in a can. Yeah, I'll have the uh, Linux uh, Coke and the uh, Windows XP Sprite. Thank you. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. I'll feed you Ubuntu Cola, you mole. Ah, there you go. See, slowly and surely, I am getting more. Oh, there was a check inside. Well, hello. How you doing? Hmm. My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you wanna test me? You're dead, fucker! Ooh! I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. I'll demonstrate the power of being third to you. Bomb him. Fuck him. And... I guess shoot him. Oh, bad ideas. Bad ideas. Okay, then now, now it's going. Oh my god. Jeff is dead. Jeff is fucking dead. Jeff, you are dead. Without your stupid ball rockets, you are nothing. Can't get a smash attack. Oh my god. Get a smash attack in. Jesus Christ, just do it. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. No problem here. <laughs> uh, big problem. I'm just gonna do my piece I metal. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? I blame the duck. Ugh. Ugh. I walk in the desert, man, so you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? I'd like a, uh... I'll just get some picnic lunches. A cup of coffee in the desert. Oh, man. Could you imagine the extreme torture? C could you imagine, like, being super thirsty? Oh, my God. This would be the worst. All right, get this. You're super fucking thirsty. It's, like, super hot outside. And the only water that's available is... Boiling hot water. I, 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 I'm gonna rip off my own head. It's not down here either. Oh, 
dude, I, I am dead. I am deader than shit. I guess it's just my own fault, but... I call it the, uh, tumbling down effect. It's like, you fall down a flight of stairs and you just keep hitting your head, and at the same time, uh... Like... There's more shit falling down, and you, you get cluttered, and it's just like, ugh. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, wait. I start here? I start here? I start here? I fucking start here? Oh, mmm. 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 Should have saved in the house in the desert. I feel like a total idiot, but I might have to do that. <laughs> well, so there's suicide ducks now. Suicide duck. That's my that's my new metal band. We play uh, duck core. Uh, we don't have any vocals. We just have a uh, 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 a duck in the band that screams a lot. So sort of. fuck you, duck. A lot of this duck just runs away, but once he has a little support from his friends, then he uh, immediately goes for the kill. He's a big puss. All right, you guys fucking pray, and I'll pray that this place right here is the final mold. Yes! <sighs> you fought the strongest master of this hole, the strongest strong master of this hole. The four strongest master of this hole, and the weakest master of this hole. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. Now you see the true adventure being third. Owie. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, you goddamn old piece of shit. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Sweet. Mm. Pictures taken instantaneously. Look at the camera. Ready? Say. See Whoa, what a great photograph! Spin! Ness, greetings. I'm George. Gerardo Monta Mon Montagui. Montagui. Brother. Gerardo is his name, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to you, Ness. Here it is. Please take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ness got the diamond. Ugh. Now I'm gonna get a fucking. I'm gonna go save. Right now. <laughs> and this- is, Do I still have chickens in my inventory? Where's that goddamn- Get out of here! Ah! You know. Alright. Oh, it's about to get meta. Check this out. Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. <laughs> I gotta deliver the diamond. Save that stupid fucking bat and from getting financially fucked. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold, or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho ho ho! Yay! So we're about speech with troublemakers. Won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our friends are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. All right, thanks again. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what I saw. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's why we ain't got safe the freedom. Freedom is not what we really sought. Money, that's what is hard. And I see fields of poo. Red roses too. <laughs> Do crack. Do they want you more pet back? I was thinking there's a tight bad mode every minute. Jump out the window. Somehow I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. A banana for five dollars. <laughs> Super banana, ma'am. Well, Ness, what's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you homesick? Well, I know there will be days like this. It must make you feel better. Listen to your mom's sweet voice. So do you feel any better? Well, I'd better get going. In the middle of my ironing. Bye. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. The customer for money, Mr. Luck, brings me to the office of the fourth floor. That was customer class, fourth floor office. Oh, here we go. 
Alright, you can't do this if you're being a master at shit. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Let's keep sandwich DX. Later. Ooh. Ha ha ha, did the, I, I don't think I've ever done this this sleek and, and, and fast, but hey. You will admit it. This monster's gonna be your grave. You'll be gone. You're gonna be burned again. Well, you're gonna have it. Can't say hell. I think we can do this. We can do this. Hey, I've never done this part this easy. Even though you could beat me, Master Kragas will have me. At this moment, Paul should be me more to told you. The power supply of the game was cut off. I wasted my money. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally locked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Next thing I knew, somebody asked, who is it? And it really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. Oh my god, I'm, in, I'm, I'm surrounded by idiots. Arjun S, I, I can't you see, I can't see it too well. Everything's blurry. You're an S, Arjun. It's me, we man in Tucson, Evergreen in Berlin Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That, that car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. <laughs> Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. And then an old city wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. No. Oh. <laughs> Army pain. And. What a toll tricked me and stole it from me! They tricked me, a thief! You want to take it out of the way because I know it's secret. I got his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. <gasps> I said I'd only tell you what. Dave, you just tell you once more. <gasps> do, you, do you want to hear it again? No. Everywhere I go is my last day, Kung Fu. Went on your way out. Be sure to say you goodbye. Look at the door to me. <laughs> but, but, oh, 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 and the trip begins. This is where the game gets weird. What? The food side? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Is that wrong? I am the hostess here. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. Welcome to Moonside. Well, welcome to Moonside. And abstract art. You know, sometimes I don't really get to appreciate how good sprite work can be, and, and this moon right here is... Oh! Grandios! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Moontide. Welcome to Moons. Cosmic. There's such a thing when you realize that an elephant draws better than me. Could you imagine if there was an elephant that was really good at drawing, but all he drew was dicks? <laughs> you understand all this? No. Good. I'm glad you get it. Here's Duke. Hello, and goodbye. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. You don't want me to sharpen? I am Unsi Demon. Well, 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 go on, I will send you first, and then your second, to the hospital. What is this drug-induced nightmare we're playing? We're playing Earthbound, the best drug trip you'll ever experience. If you ever wanted to play an existential crisis in the form of a video game, here you go. Hello, and goodbye. I'm being attacked by DeviantArt. No, actually, if it was DeviantArt, I'd be attacked by, like, Sonic inflation porn. Oh shit! Oh come on! No! No! no, no, no God damn it! Please, guts. <laughs> Jeff was just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay 150 for the doctor's fee. No. Hey, some someone's calling. Ness, don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son. Who thought I'd have such a brave kid? Oh yeah, you're a hero, honey. Click. Thanks, Mom. I'm, I'm, I'm on a psychedelic soul crisis, and all you can say is, like, bye. This is a headline for tonight's Moon Cypress. Manny Manny is always Manny Manny at Manny Manny with all Manny Manny Manny. Dolly's clock. Dude, it's Sawaru door! Tokyo Dolly! <laughs> it's fucking. Dude! It's fucking Dio! Hinjaku, Hinjaku. I'll tell you what I hate in this world. That's pizza. Death to the blasphemer! The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. Hey, you're drooling. Fuck yeah, yeah, I want some goddamn pizza. <laughs> Enraged. 
Now, I did mention the beautiful sprite work before, but uh, that is a sprite. Hello and goodbye. Before the soup gets cool, we must care for Manny Manny. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for Manny Manny. Secret herb inside. Well, I know why I'm in mood side. Hello and goodbye. Sh shall I? Yes. Then goodbye. Hey, how's it going? Can you see me? No. Haha, <laughs> you can, huh? <laughs> you become a real Monsidian, haven't you? Haha, <laughs> it's me! You can see me, right? There's something interesting about you, so I'm gonna follow you. Don't worry, though. <laughs> if you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. <laughs> you can't see me, right? It's kinda annoying, though. <laughs> hey, don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. <laughs> oh! Smile, smile. How do, how do you even do that voice? Yo! Don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out, they're connected. I think it's this guy. Manny Manny statue is up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Huzzah! You really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected and who's got a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? Hey, it's a Nintendo game. You gotta say, like, you, you play hacky sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's a golden statue that I've seen before. Uh oh. Evil Manny Manny attacked. Alright. Uh, strategy. To win at the cyber demon, you gotta shoot at it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Manny Manny statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion was destroyed. You were wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? I'm having a daymare, you fucking insensitive piece of shit. Coo -coo 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 -coo. Welcome. Kiki Kiki Kiki, our paradise exists beneath the hole. Kiki 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 Kiki, Talarama is here eating hain. Kiki 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 Kiki, and he knows everything Talarama does. Kiki Kiki Kiki, he made us the underground rooms. Fuck the scorpion, fuck that. Oh my fucking god. Now, now you should have ran about how stupid fetch quests are, but this shit is. Oh. Is there anybody that has played Earthbound and enjoys this part? If you do, you might not be a person. You might be a, a slug person, maybe? Do you have a skip sandwich? Oh. I hate this fucking part. Do you have a skip sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Yes, you will get this, you 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 monkey blow job. Whoa! Ooh, there's a wet towel inside. Yeah, I, I do have a pizza actually. Uh, yes, I'll give you a goddamn pizza if you shut the fuck up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I don't have a pizza. <sighs> God damn it! Who the fuck watches MTV? Hello, Mac Pizza Delivery. Here's your pizza pie, sir. Swing your arms! Oh no! Oh no! Did I have my inventory full? No! Oh! Did... <laughs> I'm gonna explain this. If you if you don't know why this is so incredibly well named, it is it's a layered pound cake of of puns and smartness. S Cargo Express can also mean easy cargo, right? S Cargo is snails in in, in French, so it's a slow service. But it's also an easy cargo. And it's express. But it's also slow because you know what? Usually I don't I don't I don't I don't pat them on the back and say, hey, good pun, but this time you you did something right. You fuckers. FedEx? What does FedEx do? They deliver and bum bum bum. The word bed looks like a bed. Dracula is Alucard. Thank you. I sure do, you fucking swine! And don't you fucking drop my pizza. Picnic lunch, I sure do have that. What is this? This is the, uh, pizza. Oh, I just had a pizza. <sighs> Fuck. I just wanna die. Does it feel hot in here? First I'll sweaty. I do have a wet towel. Hamabaga. Hamabaga. 
Ruler inside. Oh, why do I need a ruler? When we were really young, like seven or eight, we all took measuring rulers and measured our dicks. Anyway, totally unrelated. Uh, ha hamburgers. Yes. I don't know why, but there was a lot of dicks involved, uh, me as a kid. Alright, so I had a, a friend called uh, Daniel, and he had a weird mom. A a a in a way that, this sounds fucked up, but his mom was like, hot. This mom looked like she was like, 25. And, uh, I swear to God, one day, Daniel found a box of false dicks in a box underneath her fucking bed. Don't know what this mom was doing with them, but I remember us playing with dicks. <laughs> well, we're all going to help. Uh, ooh, I'm Moncana. I want to eat a tasty pizza. Ooh, if you have some, well, give it to me. Whoa, there's a pizza inside. There's so many goddamn pizzas. The problem with sex ed is like, it's always some stupid fucking cartoon about puberty. And it's always animated by like, Indian people. This is the penis. This is the goat. This is the goat penis. You take the goat penis head and the milk comes. But I, I felt like, I felt super fucking awkward in fucking sex ed. Cause like, you know why? I was the only guy. That was why it was so fucking awkward. There was only girls, and I was sitting there, and uh, there, and you know, there's this guy saying like, "Well, penis becomes really hard, really hard," and all the girls are like looking at me. I'm just like, "Uh, don't put plutonium in your 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 cat's asshole." Honest to God, there was one about kids climbing into. Washing machines. Like, listen, I was a fucking idiot kid, but I wasn't suicidal. Well, who would climb into a fucking washing machine and go, All right, all right, put the thing on. I wanna, I wanna die. Ever watched Requiem for a Dream? I sure have. That ass-to-ass -ass scene is legendary. It's so, sort of like Bible Black. You're ejaculating while you're laughing. You're put in a cum coma. Like, that scene is like, it, it's meant to be disgusting, but it's, it's, it's funny. But at the same time, kind of like fucked up and hot. So you're like, jacking off, laughing and vomiting at the same time. You're like, ha ha ha, Because when that old guy goes, ace to ace. You know you're watching a movie. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Boo. When these four, is, four powers gather, Twisted Space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. You cannot carry anything else. Why don't you fucking goddamn it? Look too tired. Yeah, eat some pizza. <laughs> man, I tell you, man, if I if my mom gave me pizza and told me, hey, go to bed, just yes. What? Wait a minute. Ugh. Jeff slept with me. I'm. I. Couldn't you sleep on the table, you nerd? We're gonna get to four. So we gotta res rescue Paula. Look up who I am. Oh fuck. All right. All right. If you're unfamiliar with how the teleport works, you're basically doing this, like, uh, Back to the Future shit, where you need a clear space to, like, transcend in your route to, to, to another place. It, it, it's weird, but you you see what I mean here. You gotta... Just... Here we go, here we go. Whoa, there we go, finally. Christ. I keep asking around for trout flavored yogurt, but... What? You you have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I think I just got laid, so I am no longer a baby. I am a man, and I have taxes and responsibility. Cause that that you know, I think that's how it works, right? When you lose your virginity, you're no longer a boy. You're a man, and as soon as as Dick to puss happens. You grow a mustache, your voice drops 13 octaves, and suddenly there's a tax man on the door knocking, like, Hey, gotta pay your taxes! I'll take you to Mr. Monofil's office today. Oh, 47 on the floor, I can't even read today. Only you may go. 
What about Jeff? Is he like hiding in my pants? Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fuck. Now that's a robot. That is a goddamn robot. How do, how do you pronounce a groan? He's like, <gasps> I guess they're just pooping intensely, huh? All right. No one came. Nobody comes for the robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. He's still fucking out there. What does he want? He wants sex. I don't remember, but. No, Dad, I've been playing for like, what? 20 minutes? No! Dad, Dad, listen, I, I have to, I have to smash robots and, and dwell into yogurt business. I am a busy man. You don't understand the amount of weight that is on my hands, Dad. You tried flavored yogurt, sir? Don't return it, that's like returning a condom, ugh. Bing, clankity, clankity, rattle, rattle, Squeak, tweet, tweet, clank. I will say this though, uh, Earthbound has a lot of great sprites, but, uh, this is what I would do with MS Paint in math class. This robot right here, this is not good sprite work. Ooh, that's good! Baloney. All of a sudden, some guys rush into the room. Yeah! That's the Runaway 5! Lucky quickly tucked behind the robot. I flipped the switch, and it stopped! Ha ha ha! Jeez, what a loser robot! So easy to stop! Huh. And I used to have trouble with this boss. I thought I heard a girl's voice. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. Let's bring it to the room next door. Except I don't... I need to go to the bathroom first. We would like to pay you back. Well, we'll help you in whatever way we can. We don't need any money. We're strong, however. You guys smell like beef. No. Oh, I can't go back. <laughs> stop. That's enough. Please stop. I, I give up. I, I really do. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I become so weak since I lost the Manny Manny statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula is a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. We got Paula a back. Uh, I'll tell you everything. The Manny Manny statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray to Satan. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand or don't let them go to Summers or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil Gygas or something, I, I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil site would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Uh, would you like to hear the story again? No, all. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my attack helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh fuck. Ness, you pinhead idiot! You're just a half step too slow! I'm getting out of here! Since Monotoli has become a plain old man, again I have no more use for him! This helicopter will really come in handy! Looks like you're the world class loser again! I like how there's no music here. It just. It just. It just Ness's face. It's just Ness's face, like, look at that face. I've never seen such a preserved anger in my whole life. He's just like, he's totally calm on the outside, and inside he's just like, <laughs> How does he fit in there with, an, with enough lube? Anything is possible. All right. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. Ha 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 I have a colon infection. Man, this is a fucking, you gotta do fucking table drumming. Hurrah! 
Uh, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine we're on the five, second somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten something very important item or sneaking gadget here. How's that for a kiss? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later, and good luck. Peace! Ah, here's the problem. It's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. You gotta, you gotta delete System 32, Nez. It's a virus. No, 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 you, no, Nez. You, you have, you have to download a uh, Body and virus.avi.exe. That's how you fix the problem. I, I mean, you use. Uh, ah. Kiki, cool, Kikro. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Cookie, Kiki, Ki. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. Trico, Kiakia. So, Kikro, Kiaki, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Kikyo, Kukiki. Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Kiki, Kiki, go and see what's there. Kyoki, Kyakroko, we're going to get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye bye. <laughs> Ooga Booga, may I help? <laughs> My co worker Bigfoot dislikes violence, but he loves weed. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me, and seductively rub my nipples with it. UFO soft and visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read it about it on the tabloids. There's riot stonings. <laughs> Silly mustache, man. Stonehenge is in, uh, is in Ireland. You finally got here. This is the fourth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare! Shroom. We have a ghost, a nerd with a, with a mushroom, and uh, a 50s rose-cheeked boy. Best caught a whiff of pizza, but just for a second. And that sounds so recorded, the melody of the rainy circle. Man, I want some, I want some pizza right now, man. What metal bands do I listen to? Because my sister listens to new obscure bands and hates old classic ones. What? No, no, Joel. You see, I, I don't listen to, uh, mainstream music. I listen to, uh, non plead music, alright? True gentlemen only listen to white noise. White noise piped through a terrible little boombox. I call it farts with a Z. You see, Joel, metal is for children. I listen to more refined tastes. I listen to white noise and I like it. <laughs> Man, I love summers. This place kicks ass. You know why? Because it's raining outside and I'd rather be in the sun, but that's not the point. I actually do like rain. Hey, hello there, honey pie. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. I only like fartcore. I don't like metal. It's a minor bird. If you're bored, go check out the Scaraba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. What? So annoying! Why you are, why you are wandering around? Hey, there's Duke Nukem. Hey, welcome to my store. What do you need? So you're going to buy something, hey? I'm a grave robber. I give you a secret number. I want you though. It's a strange place. Dad. H Hello, Jeff. 
Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. Hey, it, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting player names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you. The one holding the controller, controller, controller. Okay, Scott. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Y yes. Oh, this guy. Okay, Scott. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. I'll talk to you later, Jeff. I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. Tony. Hello, this is the Silly Club. Oh, yes, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We're looking forward to having you there. And thank you. Good. What magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? I want that cake. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? I want that cake. I look up Five Nights at Freddy's and all I can see is like, uh, robots fucking. Guys, don't make fun of Five Nights at Freddy's. Ben's gonna drown you. No, wait, that's that's the wrong, uh, what is it? It's creepy spaghetti. Ben drowned, Joel. He's gonna get your kids in Lavender Town drowned. And the black Pokemon cartridge. The kids in Japan died because Lavender Town's full of ghosts and Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know who told you. I came here far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in! I used all the leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. <laughs> Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. He, he was stuck in Lavender Shah and he was a ghost? Prince Poo, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in the final stage of your training. Thank you, old man Super Kung Fu. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm -hmm. Immortality is when you uh, drink two milkshakes at once with two straws in your mouth, and you, and they're different flavors. There is. Whoa! There's a bottle of water. Thanks for the water. It's my pee asshole. I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. But that's what I'm into. Thank you, come again. Long ago, I completed mood training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Squad alive! Meditate. Ah, Prince Poo! I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Poo! You must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master's wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial now. For, for now, I believe what I say. It is the truth. I'm trying to suck my own dick here. Fuck off! spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will use the use of them. Do you accept this? <laughs> ah, fuck! You cannot walk as your legs are broke. <laughs> Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. Then taking of your arms, do you accept this? Oh, fuck! Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. Do not mind my taking your hearing away to you. Do you accept it? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words to the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Boo, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you will probably don't I want to allow that to you. So you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? 
Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you will also lose any feeling of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh, knowing that I will possess it. Well, oh, dude, that was some hair fucking hair major drugs, dude. I am proud. You have completed your moot rating. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Boo. Now that you completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the earth itself, I pray for the crowd in the wild Let me talk to your daughter. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. We have a stupid stereotype in my inventory. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. They're gonna kick ass with me and you. Go to Scarella, you need to cross the sea. Uh, yeah. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. Yeah. I detect ships that pass through. Yeah. Are you scared? Yeah. Look at this. Spin to win, spin to win, spin to- oh my god, go already, go. Wait a minute, wait a no, get me off the bus. I just realized something, I don't need to go to the desert to fucking buy ball rocks, I can go to the fucking grocery store. Uh, fuck, now I'm just like on a bus that I- Jump, jump out of the window, Ness, come on, just, you know, you know, right out of here. A boat to defeat this the guy, and you can go die. Cracking, cracking. Oh, better watch out, or you'll be a trout. Here comes the giant cracking man. And, oh shit! Here comes the beast. He's gonna give me some yeast. He's a baker now. There he is. <laughs> Here he comes! Ah! Well, hello there, Kraken. Kraken is crack. It's fucking dead. Buka. <laughs> oh my god. I sell water to those who are thirsty. It's expensive, though. $198, dude. I can fucking get a, like, a used Wii and, like, 15 tacos for that. Fuck that. Wouldn't it be so funny if I actually changed Pooh's name into, like, Steve? Wouldn't it be so funny, like, Becky? Wouldn't it be so funny if Joel changed his, his poo into Steve? Cause like, that's not his name. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Fight against the evil invaders. We built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and built their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark, and even further, farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded, it is, without light. Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a br truly brave hero. And that's the, uh, that's the pattern. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Quaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Just look at me. Look, look at that. Look at that sarcastic asshole. Look at him. He knows. He's just like, mm. <laughs> Now I can pretend to be fucking uh, roller skating Jesus for a moment. Ha 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 ha. I have the power. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I should not be here. Oh, what the fucking hell? Winners? What the fuck am I doing in winners? What the hell? Okay. Oh, this is this is this game's gonna break. This game's gonna fucking break. Uh -oh. <laughs> I am far off the deep end. I'm in some major shit. Get me out of this limbo. Okay, I'm starting to to think that uh that uh that. All of Earthbound is loosely connected on one major map. I'll do Dungeon Man music! I can't listen to this yet! This is pretty weird, I gotta be honest. It has a strange dimension. Raccoon Zone. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What will you do? Oh man, we're gonna open it up. Open this pit up! Warriors enter now! Search for the Hawkeye! Ba, 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 ba. Picture taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get it ready for an in. Stunt memory. Look at the camera. Ready. Save the sea pickles. Da da da. Wow. What a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Oh, bye. Some Marion Demon Granddad. You know what? It's a fucking terrible idea to fu Why am I in the fucking pyramid when I'm half dead? Paula's dead! And fucking Ness and Jeff is like Ebola, come on. Uh, uh. Paula's dead. And it's so weird that, uh... <laughs> um... Oh shit, uh, Jeff just died. Jeff is dead. He lost his head. Now we're all dead. Let's see the uh, oh snake. Look at the sprite. Look at the sprite. It's so good. There's a snake hieroglyph about to suck my eyeballs out. So I'm getting a lot of XP in this pyramid too, and uh, the enemies aren't too bad. Oh, he's going to attack my coffin. I don't know why, but I want to eat him. I bet it tastes like Twix. That's the eye. Something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Yep. Yeah. Paula got the Hawkeye. Yeah. What, what is this hieroglyph doing? Is he pointing? Is he doing the fancy? Is he going, hey? You flipping me off? Is he flipping me off? Well done. You have made it. We finally meet Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now it is time to show you the way of the star storm. For a while, you must live fine. <laughs> I just realized I'm doing a Deckard Kane. Stay a while and listen. It is important that I study and learn the star storm. It will be the most helpful to us. Ganita. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I'll see you again. Squad alarm, we are off. Stay a while. Look at this kawaii UFO. Uh, viper, I'll never need this again. It's actually, you throw a snake on somebody and they go, Ah, snake! Nah. Nah. Whoa! Whoa! What is RNG anyway? Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! I fucking jinxed it! Oh my fucking god. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Fuck! Oh fuck, damn it! 
die, fuckers! Yeah. Oh, fuck that! Fuck that shit! Stop it! Stop it! She just lays lasers at me. That's a rad nickname. How cool would it be if you named your son or, or daughter Laser? Your first name is Laser with a Z. Is Adam here? Yeah. Is Laura here? Yeah. Is Laser here? Yeah. Wee -wee 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 -wee. You're the raddest kid ever. Last name Explosion. Dear Stunning Man. Oh, that's a of man. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, quick. I don't care, I just heal up, heal up, heal up! Oh, fuck, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Well, we're all fucking dead, huh? Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna run. Oh, I'm fucking super dead. Oh, I can't, oh, you know what? Run away. I'm fucking out. Oh, damn it! Come on! Yeah, I may enter the dungeon, man. Here we go. Welcome, you are inside of my body. <laughs> oh man, this fucking music. My statistics show about 70 of the people go to right first. Oh, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck, these coffee cups are so fucking dangerous. God damn. Cup of coffee! Uh, have a long way to go. Getting some rest and relaxation may save you. This, this guy is so nice. I love Dungeon Man. Cause he thinks about it. He cares, man. This game can be brutal sometimes, but sometimes just Dungeon Man... ...lets you know... ...that life ain't... ...you know... Uh, we'll explore the dungeon. Why don't you make a pit stop? Well, I'm in the restroom right here. So who am I? What is life all about? Why are you locked in the bathroom? Well, you're taking a shit, and you're also pondering about life, you're just like me. See? Life isn't all that crappy sometimes, it's just... A little bit of Dungeon Man make you feel better. Love this place. It sounds like a nuclear rave, though, but... I'm, I'm fine. I built a belting board without a message. Oh man, this is... this is getting... crazy. If you work hard, you don't have time to get burned. What kind of statement is that? Where is always greener on the other rope? I wonder why that is. Dungeon man! This place is so crazy. I love it. Let's see. Uh, learn from your mistakes. Follow this and you're bound to be successful in Earthbound. What's Earthbound? Where's the fourth wall anyway? What's a dungeon? That's my eternal question. Well, a dungeon is, is, is a location or a place for two adult people and... Uh... Uh, inside the dungeon, flash photography is prohibited. A dungeon is sometimes, uh, a place, and there's a lot of, uh, adult situations. You're standing right around my belly button. Okay. Uh, this music is one of my greatest accomplishments. Really now, huh? Well, sometimes there's a lot of, uh, rubber gloves involved, and sometimes, uh, uh, babies. Lesser Mook. Well, that's a name. That is a name for a fucking muck. Dungeon. Dungeon. Um, dungeon master. <laughs> this thing is 300 bucks. 300?! Dude, 300 bucks is like a lot of groceries. That's like... That's like groceries. Like a used... Nintendo game. A couple of chips and... Uh, uh, like a, one of those novelty dog plushes that you find at, at gas stations. Mad duck. They can be a nice pet if they... If they stay far away? Nice pets. Slimy little pile, they have a bad habit of burping. Just like me! I made them this as a fu funeral music. Play this. You're like... He's just that guy. Joel is a strange one, huh? And now he's dead, but he was strange. Good job, you finally made it. There's a board upstairs that says that. <laughs> Alright. Trying to be funny with me, sir. Good job, you finally made it. That face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Hey. Welcome! Long time, no see. Mr. Jeff, we met him at Winters a long time ago. I'm Rick Road. Dr. Anon has finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and I walk out. Oh man, now the fucking music starts. You cannot tell me that Dungeon Man is not the best thing ever. Look at him. Look at him. 
Look at him. He's so fucking cool. It's fucking dungeon man. Ah! Oh no, I am. I'm getting caught in the palm trees. Uh, I can't move. Well, if I can't move, it is okay. That's, it makes me sad. But I'm gonna say goodbye here. At my eternal resting place. No! I got stuck in a palm tree too. I know. I know that pain. Oh no, dungeon man. Dungeon man, no. I love you, dungeon man. You want to cross the river, even though you know it's a stupid idea? Ah, man, I drank a martini with my eye once. Fuck it. Swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It is a different story if you have a submarine. A submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. All right, let's go get a yellow submarine. Hey, there's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a good buy exit over there. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You take the goodbye exit. Nope, see you again. I will. I don't love- Oh my god, there's so many enemies, what the fuck? I set up a telephone line in the dungeon. I wonder if that's controversial. Does it work? It does. Let's see, old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby, my secret fetish. Here it is. Broken down old submarine. The yellow color is purely coincidental, huh? Now, you're saying purely coincidental because you can get zooed by the Beatles. Yes, it can still work. That's when a friend's carried out the submarine that Jeff fixed. Yeah. Later, Dunton man. I love ya. Love ya, man. Oh, man, this fucking place. The big motherfucking swamp. I'm gonna die in- I heard monkeys living in some sort of desert can teleport. Oh, you've learned how to teleport from the monkeys. I want to try. Will you tell me how to do it? Okay, I'll try it. You're dead. I'll never give up. I wanna try again. See how you do it? You click your heels five times and you go back to Kansas. I did it. Did you see me? That's awesome. Have a small gift thank to thank you. I wanted to give you the monkey's love. <laughs> Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. The multi-fucking bottle rocket. Oh god, oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh! I get it! Holy fuck! That was so tight! Look at the dinosaurs. What? Dad, Dad, I don't care. No, I'm looking at dinosaurs, man. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. What about you? Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. But you can still talk to me about dinosaur bones. Ah, Sorry, bad jokes. Uh, I got a T-Rex dick. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tapala Theater. Could you bring me her autograph with an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Is it more uh, dinosaur bones? Life is money. I've lived that life. You can buy everything but love, friendship, and experience points. I don't know about that, though. Not in this video game culture we got going around right now. With mobile games, pay to win, so... You know what? You're wrong. You're wrong, but I don't know about love, though, but then again, you can buy a flashlight. Oh, yes. I don't know if a little kid should be seeing this. I like to headcanon the scene that, like, Jeff and Ness is, like, having their hands over their eyes, like, I can't be seeing this. My puberty's all exploding right now. Oh, Jesus. And his kneecaps were broken. Yeah. Puberty just hit me like a sledgehammer. Ness is walking around with the biggest little chubby he's ever had. He's like, oh god. Oh god, I, I think I just became a man. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. 
Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Yeah, I sure came quickly. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay. I'll give you my I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. I wanna do a, a good old banana joke, but you fill in the blanks. Here you go. Oh, and this is a bonus. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, if I was like 10 years old and I had fucking $64,000, I'd probably uh, have a juvenile heart attack. Because I could just buy as many chula chups. You could just buy like a, a shit ton of them and just live off the fat of the land, so to say. Stinky ghost, filthy attack roach. I do love his little boots. Jesus Christ, rats have some huge ass balls. I swear to God, they can sit on it. Rat balls. It would just be terrible if you, if you were that rat. You'd be like, please reduce my balls. Like when I get when I get horny, I I ejaculate like a like a fucking uh, fire hydrant. Like I lose feelings in my legs. I go into a cum coma. Go in here. What is in here? A lot of bullshit. That's what it is. Fuck that. Oh damn it. Oh fuck that. Jesus. Uh oh. Fuck that. Ain't having that. Not buying what you're offering. Keep the receipt. Screw that. Pee pee. Uncle Chin Chin. Uncle Joel. Ain't. Doing. It. Like. That. Oh fuck, just, just give me something that's on like 15 million enemies. Jesus. Oh. Uh. Oh, thank y'all. Ah! You finally go out of here. This is your fifth, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. And here we have Super Rat. I don't know if he's wearing lipstick, or if he's, uh, got giant lips, or just blood. I, I don't know, man. Multiball rocket. 2,000 damage! That's right, you see why Jeff's fucking multiball rockets are the king? Yeah, man. Nice. Ness saw a baby bottle, but just for an instant. Ness a soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Nice. Wow! There's a carrot key inside. I'm the trash man! <laughs> oh, look at this. Look how ridiculous this is. Trash! It's a ghost in a trash can! Trash! Oh, man. Slodging through fucking oatmeal here. What's the worst smell you've ever smelled? <laughs> you know, I I'm walking through a sewer here, so I guess this would smell pretty bad, but... The worst smell I have ever smelled in my entire life, which... Made me, honestly, I felt like I was gonna die. My grandma used to have this, like, old cabin. For whatever reason, she had a refrigerator, and she hadn't opened it for two years. She left milk in there that was opened. Opening that thing up was like opening a fucking coffin. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god! I think that that's how you uh, that's how you make cottage cheese, right? You leave milk in for two years, and you know, bam, you got blue cheese. But uh, that's not the kind of mold you want. Oh, what, what did you say? You have a you have a birthday cake that's like 26 years old in the fridge. Like what? <laughs> what? 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 That, that just... <laughs> Excuse me? No, everybody's like, uh, might sell it on eBay one day. Oh, please do. 26-year-old cake, please buy. Oh, man, oh, man. See how good I am at that? So good. You know. Comedy. Comedy. Shh, be quiet. I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm a cash dispenser, man. If you want to withdraw cash, I'll charge you a handling fee. Which is the same amount as your withdrawal. So do you want to withdraw? No. I'll be here, so come back anytime. Look at that eel. All right, check this out. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. <laughs> Damn it. We can do it, man. Yeah! But it also means easy cargo. No butt touching, only punching it. I'd like to fist you non-sexually in the face. That's my threat. 
beef jerky. Recipe for making jerky. Obtain some type of meat, slice it into pieces about a half an inch thick. Hang the piece on the laundry line or something like it and leave it on the sun for maybe six months. That is not how you do jerky. It's completely broken. I, I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed there's no engine. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Seems Pokey's still here. Oh man, this place. Uh, This place makes me want to punch myself in the face. It's not a haiku, and if you don't reference the nature of the seasons... Oh, so, okay, so basically, this place sucks. I hate this. It's a bunch of fucks. Christmas. Uh, hate this place. Uh, uh, hello, dog. You may have forgotten, but... I'm the return of Elch. I fought you before. Pew. Don't you remember my rap order? Bells is trying more. <laughs> it's the return of my stronger. Uh, <laughs> Sounds just like, uh, Runaway 5. Bath should change his name to Puke. Barf? Vomit. Barf, barf. Chuck, chuck. Drown to death and Puke. What a fucking metal thing to say to, like, in a kid's game, huh? Drown to death in the Puke? That's some fucking metal lyrics right there. It's just like, BUM! BADADUM! BADA! BAM 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 BAM! Drown to death and Puke! Don't you think that's an incredible masculine taunt to throw at you? I do! That's why- that's why I say, man, you gotta do a metal album about that! Dying in puke. That's- that's just- that's just a bad way to go. Oh, it's Pooh! There he is! <laughs> Suddenly Pooh from the sky. Pooh uses new power. Yeah! I didn't even need to do shit! You didn't even get a chance to check it! <laughs> well, Pooh's back. Sure took you a while, but alright. Manly fish. Uh, Pete, you know what? Use your fucking store storm. Jew magic! Oy vey. Pooh switched religion. He, he was a Hindu, and now he's, uh, full-blown Jewish. Oh man. No! 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 Oh, fuck yeah. Get out of there. Oh man, it's time for the tendus. I love these guys. I love these guys. Uh, we shy. We shy. We're, we're all shy. Rumor, I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? I don't know. Just a rumor. We're shy. Aw, oh, dude, hot springs. We're shy. Yes. Yes. Orgy in the pit. Uh, uh, item shop. Uh, we're shy. We're shy. Hotel. In the whole inn we have. Free to stay? Okay, you stay. We're junk. This stuck around in the trash can! There's a death ray inside. Looks like an Apple II computer. There's only one tennis who's not shy. It's me, Bobby! You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground. So we covered up the hole. So there's a lot of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There was some talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? I understand, but I'm not as strong as I look. I'm sorry, I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversational skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. Which shy, shy that we are? Uh... I wonder who can help us. H hello, it's been a while from the talk. This is Apple Kid. We're having a beautiful weather here. I'm not a doctor and I'm not slamming winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now. But I'm just working on my razor, razor machine. Hey! I don't know what to do with me! Why are you coming? Best I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a board leg back to Android. By the way, Apple Kid's missing. He left here saying that he went to go and see Dr. Adonauts in Winters. He never came back. I was hoping to borrow the uh, book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm also working I'm also working hard on my inven invention. So I hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Click. Oh no. Now I've got your power. Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh. Ooga booga. Waka ungawa. Wungu gungari. Oh no. They've been kidnapped. Mouse, help me. My master, Apple Kid, completed this eraser eraser machine. While he was killing. Well, I was killing you. Oh my god, what, what the fuck? 
But I was killing you. Ah, he's dying, I guess. While I was calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this! Anyway, take this machine. Anything else you gotta say? Way to go. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna raw dog it. Check this out. Ugh! Oh, damn it, Fussy Pickles, man. Fuck off. Spin! Spin! Oh, Lord. Now we descend down to hell. I hate this place. Freeze. Oh! Kill him! Kill him, man! Oh, fucking Jeff almost died. Oh, man, fuck this place. Fuck this place. I'm trying my best. Oh, do I want to get that? Spicy jerky, I'll take it. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit, I can escape from this guy now. Wait, what? I'm too strong for him? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, man, don't die! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, Jeff! Oh, Jeff! Clench. Let's run. Thank you. Run! Oh, oh, look at fucking Paula. Holy fuck. I hate this place. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Starman, no. Behave. Oh, man. Oh, okay, Jeff can do it. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ness. Paula was diamondized. God damn it. Okay, it's all up to Jeff now. I'm gonna have to run. Holy fuck. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. All right. Whoa, jeez. Jeez, this is bad. Jesus, this is bad. Oh, fuck. This is, this is disastrous. Escape, escape, escape. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, sweet. No, I don't want to fuck with you guys. Take care. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it happened again. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's just, this is so good. This is literally the best thing that can happen. I really hope so. Oh, fuck me. Escape. Come on, you can do it. No. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so fucking lucky. I don't want to jinx it, but holy shit. Yeah, I did it. Oh, my God. Bottle of water? You asshole. Hua. All right, we're at the boss now. Hey, Apple Kid, how's it going? How about you, Tony? Alright, guys, let's see if we can get the Storm and Deluxe here. Oh, fuck. Dad! I'm having a moment, man. I don't care. I gotta save the world, man. I. No. 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 I gotta kick some ass. You're much stronger than our intelligence indicated. We were not beep prepared for that eventually. eventuality. Sorry, my speech synthesizer is really bad. I turn into Swedish sometimes, and I forget how to English. The prophecy from the cook apple of enlightenment may be true, but you must not underestimate us. Hey, okay. Not that bad, huh? Put and dead. My favorite fireworks. When you defeated the Stor Starman DX, the Stonehenge based KC is functioning. I was scared, but I knew what I'd be saved if I courageously just sat there and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. Kidnap! Happy! Rescued! I give you ribbon. Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the face disorder as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you! Don't worry about us. We got important things to do. Mr. T, I was kidnapped by a milking cow on my farm. My farm. I didn't think they'd get in all rain, so they kidnap a little old me. Hippie, this is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all that you've done. Tony! Tony. Jeff! Jeff, buddy, huh. oh me, oh my, y you came to rescue me, pal! Oh, Ness, I'm Tony, I'm Jeff's best friend, I've known him for the longest time. Tony, I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got me the Grandonauts. See ya. I, you're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness. I returned it to the Onet Library. Please use the book to help the Shy Tender tribe. Anyway, because I knew you had an incredible experience. Wow, I was kidnapped by some of Gigas' toadies. Yup. 
Tony. You found the book, Overcoming Shyness. Yeah. Pizza's not for breakfast! You made me do this! <laughs> Pizza for breakfast? That's insane! That's just, that's just bananas. Which is a greater breakfast than pizza. Oh, this house look good, you can buy- Oh, that's- that's cheap, yeah. Oh, I'll, yeah, absolutely. The sunsets are beautiful, folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Yeah, it's my house, man. It's all yours now, take some time to relax. Hell yeah. It's my house, and it's... Gray sucks. But, you gotta admit something. It does have a pretty good view. Town of Village, that's right. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here you go, friend. Book, can fix shyness. Thanks, relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, this holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I'll really take, I'll really take time to read it to everyone. And now they all started talking like fucking, like, radio announcers, you know? I'd like to give you some tenacrot in return. Tenacrot is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Just like Sue Strumming, right? Why does this guy look like the devil? I never got that. Oh shit, it's been a while, huh? Spin! Spin! <laughs> it's Joel. Mm. Ah, Joel! 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 <laughs> it's like one of those, like, European, uh, you know, soccer, those in, like, Spain or whatever, they go, Goal! They go, Joel! <laughs> hey, would you like some tea? Yeah, sure. Drink like a great tapestry, vertical and horizontal threads have met, never coming to intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. Engage. You may have cursed this never-ending journey. You have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. Your inborn intelligence and your courage have helped bring you in here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how you've ever gone home to fuck the prom queen? Winners always loon, uh, losers always whine about their best. From here, the challenge grows and your adventure will take you beyond anything you've ever imagined. You're drawing near guidance. Remember, when you're suffering hardships, your enemies are also struggling. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. I will, magical man. That's right, it's me. If I put my hand over my mouth, it's me, brother. Yes. Yes, it's just Sean Connery with, with a hand over his mouth. Brother. I love this 90s zigzags. Yeah, exactly. I love them. Underground. Very large area. Exist. Dinosaurs. Big. Scary. Lost underworld. Stone. There is. Talk lots. Powerful, I so show everyone. Uh, uh, got it, got it, oh yeah. My power, oh inspiring. Good evening, I'm a talking rock. But the rocks around here don't talk too much. Rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth and have Sean Connery again. It's deep in the labyrinth and a waste of head in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock, it's important. HP sucker. I don't suck Jeff off. I really hate this enemy. Fire. Oh, fuck that. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, Pooh is already like. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God. Oh, pull, 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 pull. Ah. Oh, fuck. See, I. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Destroyed! Destroyed! Can I kill him before he kills me? Oh my god, kill him! Come on, come on, fuck him up! Yeah! Oh no, no, he's blown out! No, 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 no! Whoa! Oh, one HP! I'm carrot bread. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Annihilated! Booty blasted! Rectal ravaging. Some of the stupidest shit I've ever heard because most ghost stories here equate into like, you know, 
and he was dead all along. I whack off and eat nachos and Cheetos. Woo! Oh no, I spilled my tits all over the sky. God damn it. I really feel so bad for the people that, that like, have their stream, have the stream up with their, like, at the, the living room. And it's just like family dinner time and, and grandma comes around. And I, here I am just like, dick and balls! And grandma's like, ooh! All right, you know what? I'll take you on. I will take you on. Oh, no! Oh, blasted with piss. The underground talking rogue seems to want to talk a lot more than I do. Wouldn't it be great if it was David Blaine, like, shanked fucking Harrison Ford in the spleen and ran away and went, GOT YOU AGAIN! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Make me pants with infinite money inside. Sue me pants, wizard. Oh, great wizard, Blaine. Make me... Sexy again, and suddenly golden pants, and he's the Harrison Ford with the golden pants. And Blaine comes along. He's like, "Hey, you want some toilet paper? Here you go. You find it in your ass." And then Harrison Ford goes, "You know, get the fuck out of my house." Speaking about that, there is actually ET the porno. I don't know if you guys know about this. You can probably make a porn out of anything, really, if you think about it. Like, g give me a movie and I'll, I'll, I'll turn it into a porno. I'll turn anything into a porno right now. Hashiko, the dog. Sexy poodle, like, I don't know. Oh you, th oh, you don't think I can make porn out of the Iron Giant? You don't think I can make porn out of the Iron Giant? You know, the moment where it goes, Superman. Well, he slams, in instead of going into the meteor, he slams into a, a big old, you know, Superman. Jurassic World, Tagla's gonna be like, it's not the only old bones they dug up. Mm. Toy Story? I mean, come on. Come on. Are I even gonna make that joke? Oh, oh, you say like, oh, but you can't do that to movies like Schindler's List. Well, more like Schindler's Fist. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians? Yeah, I bet he does. No. This is a children's game. This is a children's game. Behave, you fuck. I'm gonna sound like an idiot here, but I'm really curious about uh, Kingdom Hearts. I thought that series ended. You know what? I probably shouldn't ask about that, because now some, some of you are like... Well, let me just get up my uh, <coughs> encyclopedia of Kingdom Hearts and tell you all about Zora's darkness and pain and misery and society's dark collapse. Uh. I can't believe Kingdom Hearts happened. Like, it's just so baffling. Kingdom Hearts is one of those things you, you think about in the shower, like, yeah, that'd be pretty stupid, you know, but not actually happening. It's just like combining Tarzan with Gears of War. How they managed to do it, it's just, it blows my mind. Think about it. It's fucking, you know, Mickey Mouse and Donald the Duck and Sephiroth, like, you know, chilling out on the porch. <laughs> Sephiroth. Peter Pan feta cheese. Sefi Roth. What is happening? It's 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 fucking Donald Duck and like, you know, Cloud. Like having a cup of coffee. Like, what is this fever dream of a game? Hey, uh, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. A controllable sphere. L look at this. Look at this smile. He's got that sadistic glee to him that I, that I hate. Look at him. He he loves it. He loves to be an annoying prick. Oh, dude, give me the PP. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, there's the boss right there. Oh, oh there's so many fops. You finally go out of here. This is a seven drill sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Let's see here. Oh, dude. Oh, yes, I knew it. Oh, woo. Well, Paula, Paula, you are gone. Uh, Oh, <laughs> oh fuck, we're all dead. We're all dead. Oh my god, yeah, th there you go. Yeah, thank god for Jeff's fucking multi ball rockets. Jesus Christ. Oh man. I'm Ness. It's been a long road. Getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts are being written. 
out on the wall. Or are they fat boobies? And I saw a vision of his father holding him. And... Dinosaurs. Yeah. It's one of my favorite uh, parts of the game. It's so ridiculous. Look at this. Look, uh, he, listen to the music. Oof, it's great. Yeah. How the hell is a dinosaur a psychic shield? It makes no sense. Fire. <laughs> this is a psychic dinosaur. It, it's it's Barney the the Barney Blaine. I <laughs> bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep 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 bird phone ring 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 jerry we're stuck in the dinosaur age hey what are you guys doing inside our dinosaur cage i'm gonna open the door and you get out of here right now we made a cage for the dinosaurs and locked them up well, that's why my brother tells me but i don't believe it he's just spewing out of his cake hole <laughs> There's this... Which... Paradox... I'm not gonna say too much about this place yet, but, uh... I know it's some str Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't have time for this- Oh my god! Oh, please! How about- How about escape? How about, how about that? How about that? Just go! Go, 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 go! Oh man! Oh, dude! Paralysis! Jeff! Jeff, do nothing! No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I kind of want to die at this point. Uh, you know what? Auto fight. I want to see you do this, Jeff. Come on, Jeff! Jeffy boy! Alright, Jeff, 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 Jeff Dade. Peyton says, recently I was looking through my daughter's phone and I found many pictures of a cartoon skeleton with one glowing blue eye and wearing a hoodie. When I asked my daughter why she had such demonic images on her phone, she told me there was nothing wrong with it because it was from a video game. <laughs> All the kids are snorting okay. on her tail out their dicks. Old, angry Christian men getting angry over goofy skeletons. Gosh darn diddly video gamers and their stuffy majigs. Back in my day, we had Miss Pac-Man's Erotic legs. Haha, -ha, snake, now I have the metal gear. And now I will infect all the world with my Volbachia. Snake gives a PSA at the end. Kids, there's nothing more cool than making a friend, but some friends are dangerous. I should know. My name might be Solid Snake, but I've tangled with a few more snakes than you might know. And I'm telling you, kids, when somebody <laughs> presents their their snake it's time to talk to your local rabbi spin spin prince poo you're my favorite blush oh cold medicine <laughs> tastes like artificial cold yeah pro yeah no kidding damn it man i was just here dude please i'm stalking you and i'm taking pictures of kids so get ready for an instant memory, you look at the camera, ready, say... Given the context of what you said, I won't say this. Well, what a great photograph, it will always bring back the phone's memories. Get out of here, man, you've been following me for like, Jesus Christ, a year now. As strange as this may sound, there are a statue of rabbits blocking your way. Get out of here. How strange, the rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Yeah, man. Mr. T playing a flute. You finally got here. This is your sixth, your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Here's this boss. And how do you describe this? It looks like Danny DeVito and Jack Nicholson, 69, got stuck and died. And now their, their spirits are aligned. And you're it. Hard boss. <laughs> Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness a soundstone recorded the melody of the pink cloud. Yeah, boy. You know what? You know what? The internet has changed. 
it, everything has changed these days. God damn, it's just like, oh, what's that? You want to have a program? No, it's called apps these days. Ooh, ooh. Dude, that meteorite crushing humanity can't come fucking sooner, huh? Memes have changed. <laughs> Old man yells at Cloud. The sky's blue! I wanted purple! Purple! We've become so ingrained into, like, internet culture that... We've started to regurgitate memes. Like, at this point, talking about memes in an ironic sense is a meme. Like, we've gone so far off the deep end here that, uh... Everything is an ironic, post-modernist regurgitation of culture. It's become a fucking mess, and I don't like it. You finally got here. This is your age, your sexual location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Carbon dog. There we go. Here he is. Ow, ow, whoa! Yeah, you can't do physical attacks. There you go. Oh, fuck. D that's, that's right. This fucking enemy can literally insta-kill you like, that's it. You're dead. You you are dead. Without, like, any, you know, warning. I think this might be the honestly the, the worst enemy in all of Earthbound. He can just say, no, you lose. We might be able to do this. Might. Oh, dude, he's solidified. Sweet. Get out of here. Oh, his shield has disappeared. Okay, uh, now is the time to uh, just hack away. Like, there's no tomorrow, dude. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, did it. Oh, man. It's time, guys. Ness had a feeling that he was w being watched by himself as a baby. Does the sounds don't record the melody of the fire spring. Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He smiles just from hearing his own name. I think he likes his own name. Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big. It looks good on him. I hope Hot Dog won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some pizza. The baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, just... But I want to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. Enter your mind!
Now it's time to freak out. Ah! Uh, uh, welcome to Magic Ant. Nice. You've stood on the eyed power spots of the earth. From these, you created Magic Ant, the realm of your mind. And Magic Ant is beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes you to truth about yourself. Oh man. You're in your mind. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is the end of Magic Camp. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Uh, no. W what the hey? Well, see ya. I live in your house before you were born. Used to be small and weak. <laughs> oh, Ness, are we talking from traveling on your adventure? Uh, nah. Yeah, that's right. You can't even think about being tired at a time like this. Be strong. This is the realm of magic and which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. Look at these colors, man. Good gravy. Aye, this shop specializes in puddings and pendants. You'd like to buy some, wouldn't you? What do you want to buy? I'm gonna buy some magic pudding, man. Look at the sun, face the sun and smile. Ness. Did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? I... yes. Hey, Summy Man. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. Yo, Evergood. This maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. Guys, this game ripped off Undertale. Look at that, that's flowy, dude. Come on. Everything is Undertale. Everything. That's right, Joel. You can't escape it. I can't escape it. Everything is Undertale. I bet there's some guy listening to this right now, and he's just like, Joel, did did you know this game is like from 94 and Undertale came out like oh, this year? Hey. It's from my bride. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. You prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy? You're not me. Who are you? You little shit. That's right. I'm gonna- I'm gonna bully myself. I'd like you to take your time, cause this country will disappear when you wake up. Peace! We haven't played together lately. Cook ya! Fresh! Ness. Pokey took my snack. <coughs> Look, I'm not seen this. Why, Ness, let's play. Peace, I caramel, but he's got too much- wait, too much stuff! How am I still holding, like, a broken harmonica inside my mind? Fresh! Tracy. Yes. I gotta store some stuff inside my mind. Wait a minute. Store it in your mind. Mine. Mine. Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within the dream. I know the name of the girl you used to like. Uh oh. Thank God Ness hasn't, like, you know, hit puberty yet, or else this world would have been very different. My world would have been a fleshy hell. <laughs> Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? You sure about this? No. Uh, I guess it's just the, 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 the nice memories of Pokey before he, uh, you know, crawled up his own asshole and became one with his own colon. Yo, snowman. We had fun one snowy day. I melted, but I'm still reeling your memory. Oh man, don't say that. This is Buzz Buzz Tombstone. Oh. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved this goal. Oh man, it's time. The flying man. Oh man. These guys are the best. I am your courage. I follow you here in Magic Kent. My name? Let's say Flying Man. Oh man. I still feel pain when you wounded me. <laughs> the Sea of Eden is filled with the ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you are truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Go there may bring sorrow. Oh man. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot. Uh, enemies here are brutal. Whoa! Who's, who's this sexy little boy? <laughs> hey me, I found my cap that you lost. The baseball cap. If I bring stuff out of my mind, that's some, like, uh... Uh, Nightmare Mel stream shit. No, you don't. Oh! Haha! -ha! Duped again! Fine, it's just a load of dice. If I can kill him quick. Oh, damn it! Oh, sweet. No! Wait, Foppy, why are you putting anyone here? It should be just like grind material. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my, wh what is this battle right now? Don't call anybody. Oh, you fucker, come on! I haven't been- Oh my god! Oh, dude, kill the best! Oh, you just died in your mind, mind, mind. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, look at this. Look, he's got his own gravestone as well. Ness's courage is resting here. Fought well and died. Oh, uh, hey, I'll be your courage. I'll remain unless you lose your courage. Call me Flying Man too. I'm going to call this guy Steve. Could try to like cheat out the RNG by doing this. Fuck that. Whoa. Oh, no. Flying man, no! Oh. This blaze blows. Ugh. Steve. All right, go, 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 man, go! Fuck, I hate Patch Kent. I hate this place. I hate my mind. Fuck, I'm getting a lobotomy next, next Thursday. Oh, uh, dude, just come on. Good. All right, do I need anything? No, I don't think so. Oh, dude, nice dodge. The kiss of death. Looks like I got a little herpes there. Oh, I got poisoned. Stop flashing me, dude. That's nasty. Carefree bomb. Nah, I don't think so. Go, 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 Oh, look at that. No. <laughs> Ness's courage. Another one of Ness's courage is resting here. He da he damaged evil terribly and finally died. All right. All right. Flyman 3. Let's go. Here he comes now. Dodge. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dodge him. Whoa. Oh, can't dodge this one, though. My mind hates me, dude. Mm, it's good. Yep. Flying Man is down. <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh, Jesus, just please! Oh, fuck. Oh, flying man, no! Oh, the guilt. The guilt. <laughs> oh, I can't even look at that. Uh, here, here he rests. I didn't have time to have name his chisel into the tombstone. Please just stop guilting me out of this. I'm also your courage. Return of the flying man. Howard, don't treat us like trash. Well, I'm sorry, man, but. I'm doing my best. We can't escape from these dice and dicks. I always wonder about this planet, by the way. Is this magic hand from a another perspective? I don't know. Yeah, don't ki you can't kiss flying man. Flying man only loves cock. Here's the thing, too. Money will soon be kind of what matters. Oh, oh, dude, I'm over leveled. This is great. As long as I don't encounter too many enemies at once. I should be good. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh god, yes, 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 yes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we did it. Alright, this is the Sea of Eden. This is uh, a zone of nuclear death. You know that there's like a trope in video games that like a boss gets de-leveled down to like a regular enemy. The fucking Kraken earlier on in the game was just hyped up to be like the Kraken. It's now just like ugh, enemies. And I'm gonna do this. Oh, damn it! Kill him quick. Oh, nice. Oh, the flying man! No, no, flying man! Release the Kraken. Flying man! No, I thought you could help me in the boss battle later on. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna raw dog it. Ugh. Nice. What if I can deliver a pizza to my own mind? Dude... What if you could... get a pizza in your own mind, dude? That's not even a stoner, that's just a cracker that sniffs glue. Of course, we're your courage, but we warned you not to treat us like trash! Didn't you get it? This, this isn't courage, it's desperation. If you don't understand courage, look it up in the dictionary, okay? My name's the Final Flying Man. Oh... Let's just hope Kraken doesn't wanna kill us. There he is. All right. Let's just try to avoid him. Yeah, we're gravy. We're gravy. Awesome. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you are the one that forced me into being. All right. 
Isn't this a nightmare? And I've said it before, but the best way to beat this is to not do anything at all. This might just be crazy placebo, but every time I do this, I auto-fight and everything is fine. Oh, okay, heal up now. Heal up now. Alright, thank you. Oh, nice! We did it! I bashed him and we're good. Oh my god, holy shit. Ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Guy guess his goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe... I'm sorry, everything in the Unverse could be destroyed at the hands of Gygas, but he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygas' attempt will fail. Just because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. Free your... Open your mind. This is where I get buffed to becoming pretty much a beast at combat. 200,000 experience points. Oh. Now I am a god of death. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. Open your mind. Open your mind. Quaid, start the reactor. Blech. I'm okay. The sandstone that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. I kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Get out of this popcorn joint. And we're at Saturn Valley. Dad, I just went inside my mind. Now is not the time. Yo, Apple Kid. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Ananauts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the Face Distorter. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the location of enemies. Right now, it's indicating that the presence of the enemies in the Lost Underworld. The Mr. Sanders are incredible folk. And the Fable Kid, he's the most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway. The prototype face distorter has been stolen. Someone who's trembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't work. One thing's missing. That one material cannot be normally found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking about came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Oh, boy. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to die? I am, kind of. Oh. Oh. Can't work on me, man. I'm the master of the mind. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running in one at right now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some pizza? F fuck yeah. Pizza, pizza. So what do you guys think? It's my, it's my crib. What do you think, Poo? Oh man. How about we all like, you know, have have a have a have a orgy in the bed? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! This fucking guy! This fucking guy! Oh my God! Fuck that! Oh fucking poo poo! You did this! You did this poo! There's something shining that you can reach. You want to try and get it? Hell yeah! Let's go to be your right piece. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh dude! Oh, going for the gold! Going for the gold! Oh, fuck! Alright. Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, fuck, dude! Okay, fourth times the charm. Okay, okay, they don't want that. Oh, that's even tighter space! Watch as the master and the commander teleports 
out of the tightest spot ever. Check this out. More your party skills. Oh damn it! I feel it in my bones. <laughs> Come on, you teleport! God damn it! Hmm. If I only had a piece of meteorite, I might be able to extract some zizanite. Here you go, man. Ah, yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us. You get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Mostly bought a rocket. You know, I, I gotta say uh, something. First time I ever played Earthbound, I didn't really read it as like multi bottle rocket because it's a multi, you know, it's a bottle rocket, you know. But I thought the multi bottle rocket was this because the only thing I registered in my brain was rocket and multi. Bottle was just like that's just fluff words, it doesn't have any meaning. But when I read it, I, I, I heard this in my brain. This from Commander with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the rocket multi thing that just pew pew pew. Like fourth of them, you know. That's how I head can on it every time. That you know, Jeff has this like giant fuck zuka, you know, like. Phew. Good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? I sure am. Remember, the face distorter version too is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological function. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> this music is so good. Oh. Oh. Horns of life. Horn of life. You're listening to it right now. Squad alive. Greetings. So you are finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There is only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Later, Santa Claus. Yo, Sam, what are you doing here? Kidnap. I was boring. <laughs> Kidnapper. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. We're to the past. Ding. Yes. Yes. In the future, everything will be bad dragon dildos. The face distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Sanders incredible scientific skill. <laughs> Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. It's very hard for me to tell you guys, but, uh, you must warp to the past to fight, but... What's going on, guys? What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong? What could be so wrong? Dr. Ananauts. What's going on? In order to defeat Gygus, who is attacking from the past, he must warp to the past. This can be done in the way of the Face Disorder 3. However, this machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life worms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish a time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. Installed some antivirus in me as well. You can't hack me or nothing. I got Norton. I cannot promise that your spirit will, will come back after the battle in the past. You must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygus by traveling to the past? Hell yeah, chief. Hmm. You accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yeah. Yes, I see. You've really set your mind on this. Dude, I'm becoming Robocop! How can I be, like, sad? Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready, stand by. Yes, drill me. He is a Robert. He is a cop. He is the Robert cop. He is the Robert. He is the cop. We're literally becoming Robert Cop, though. In its flaws and the sign look. Wouldn't it be funny if Pooh accidentally died and we're like, ah. You know, if nobody saw nothing, nothing happened. Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate the face disorder 3 by your own hand. Therefore, following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. 
Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. I don't know why, but I got this like Bill and Ted vibe right now. Excellent! Doodly 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 doodly. And here I am, Robert Cop. <laughs> and I, I forgot to mention one thing. Enemies here are incredibly strong. Oh, I can also do this if I want. Input your command. Repair me, bro. I love when you when you're the eight direction here where you're going like down and a little bit of left. It looks like they're having problems. This this, this oh, oh fucking hell. I can't believe Paula's dead again. PK flash, fuck off. Blast them, fuck them. And you're gone. Oh, here, here's the guy I was talking about earlier. Here's the nuclear reactor. Well, and fuck, if I don't love that word, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, clank, 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 clank. Oh, goddamn it. Oh! No, you don't, dude. Oh, who's this guy? Squatter Demon. I don't remember this guy. What the fuck? This is like a. Dude, I, I don't remember this guy at all. What the hell? Hmm. Squatter demon. Taking a shit. Look at the background. You shouldn't throw the magic in bad away. Oh, wait. Dude, wait a minute. I can't do that? Oh, you fucker. You magic can't throw it away. Okay, uh, a viking who does stuff. You are banned forever from the stream. How dare you impose puns in this chat? <laughs> oh, final storm. Oh, fucking hell. Waste them. Oh, uh, ooh, that feels nice. Oh, what, 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 what a wonderful way to, to do this battle, huh? Good gravy. Jesus Christ. Paula is now deactivated. She got the blue screen. Run now. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get crazy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Absolute madman. I'm gonna do it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dude, no! Alright, run away. Dude, run up, Run away. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my fucking God! Alright, good. Alright, everybody. Here it fucking is. Here it is. Mein Gott. And, again, I said a, a tonal shift. Give Paul the Franklin badge. Really? Because I can, I can deflect thunder shot at me. Why should Paula have? Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, shh, shh. Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygas. Gygas will be stronger. A more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygas. No, Gygas is no longer the wheeler of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself. <laughs> Which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. And the greatest track in Earthbound. Because it starts with this 8-bit tune. And you're like, wow. Retro vibe. Alright, we gotta crank up the thrash metal here. We gotta crank up the speed metal, and we go like... <laughs> yeah, man. Isn't it great? Isn't it fantastic? Sixteen gets speed metal. I'm ready, Chief. Strap me in. From what I remember from this fight, is that you gotta concentrate all your fucking firepower on Pokey here. Uh, that's how you do this. Like, 
Gygus here is uh, invulnerable, yeah. Um, you know what I never really understood though, because you know you can make all theory, you can theorize stuff, and you can make theories or whatever, but I never understood the face. Why is Ness's face in Gygus? Creepy as fuck. But uh, let's just blow him away. Oh god, my ears. Uh, a little strange. Very stinky gas. <laughs> you can't use metal on me, man. I'm the metal master. Can't do that shit on me, son. Oh, yes. Honk. Oh, shit. Paul's gonna die, actually. Oh, Paul is dead. Can't do that shit on me, son. Come on. I have a psychic Kevlar on me right now. There we go. Oh, I shit, I already did it. I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygas. You must be pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygas looks like. If you were ever to see Gygas, you'd be so petrified with fear. You never you were never able to run to you never able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed! And, oh boy. So, isn't it terrifying? I'm terrified too. Guy just cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing right now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you will be just another meal to him. Oh, great. Fantastic. If you play this as a kid, uh, in the middle of the night, and you saw this, then you would no longer be playing video games, my friend. Uh... <laughs> Good God. Look at this thing. It, it's... 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 I, I can't even, like, say what... It's like a... Satan's asshole ghost. 56k. America Online. Coming to kill you. It's nuclear ketchup. That's what it is. Dial up demon. You know what? As Bob Ross would have said, beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it. Let's see here. Okay, we can do that. Twelve year olds riding your your creepy pastas. Take take notice. Oh actually, you know what? Don't take notice because uh every creepy pasta ever is and then guy just came out of the TV and my dad was never home. Ness. See, he's just uh, calling my name. He, he's so he's so evil. He has become evil itself. And Jeff's dead. You cannot grasp the true form of Gygus's attack. <laughs> you must be really be at the end of your rope in this bizarre dimension. You four are the only force fighting for justice, and here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of the universe. Ha! That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy Ness? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so you just try and call for help. You pathetically, you pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Oh, boy! Um, try to keep yourself alive and keep praying to Jesus. Uh, Paula, you will pray. And, uh, Pooh, you can, uh... You'll just keep existing and heal Paula. Just defend. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Go back! I ain't going back, I guess. Maybe if you call a cab. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength, if it's possible. Please. Somebody help us. All the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling they had never experienced before. And they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. 
got to get this defense to become unstable. So yeah, we were we were saying earlier about uh, uh, how scary this boss battle can be, and now we've achieved the the, the maximum spookums. Uh, good gravy, it hurts. It hurts. Ah, this. Ah. From the bottom of your heart, please give us strength. Anyone who can hear her, please help us. Run away, fam. Play me the sex of life. Suddenly, one of the runaway five felt something stop him, <laughs> and he prayed fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Fifty damage. Live, Jeff. Live. All right. You know what? You will heal Paula, and uh, Paula, you can. Take a brain food launcher yourself. Uh, Jeff, you will defense shower and poo, you can do nothing. Because you, you live up to your name. I'm so sad, Ness. I'm happy. <laughs> Go back, <laughs> friends. Yes. Who's dead? Please give us a strength. S speed this prayer to all the people of Earth. Help me, Roofcat. Help me. Help me in this trying times. Paula's father thought of. <laughs> Paula's father thought he somewhat heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. Yeah, boy. Oop. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear a plea, help us. <laughs> Tony. 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 Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. <laughs> Tony... Please grant us power. Anyone can hear her plea. Help us! A young woman in the lawn woke from a dream which it, w w in which Prince Pooh died. Well, that's not too far off, is it? And she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. I feel good! I'm happy! Oh, yes! Yes! Hey, you're throwing ibuprofen at me. I cannot comprehend this. It hurts, Ness. I'm happy. Yes. Please grant us strength. Anyone can hear our plea. We ask for this. Pray for me, Burger Burger Place. Suddenly, Frank recalled Ness's shining young face and began to pray dili diligent, dili diligently, is that it? Diligently for the safety of his friends, yeah. Friends. Yes. It hurts. It hurts. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sad, Ness. I'm happy. Yes. Oh no, Jeff! Stop! 
stop yelling at me. Please grant us power. Speed this prayer to all the people of the Earth. You're giving me mixed signals here, Gigas. Suddenly, Nessa's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh... So, what was I saying earlier about, uh... This being totally fucking nuts? Well, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh lord. Oh lord. I can't think of anyone else. Someone. Anyone, please help us. Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. The end. Jesus, Gigas. Make up your mind. Someone. Can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paula and her friends call calls touched the heart of... Jill, Jill. Prayed for the kids, having never ever met them before. Oh, Jeff! Look at Jeff! Oh, kept praying. Joel kept praying. Joel kept praying. Ness. Now, I... Well, it's going to seem like I'm running away. But perhaps we'll just sneak away to another area to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So, now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? You should think back to how the game started with the static. Just saying. The war against Gygus is over.
our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paul, and Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. Peace, I farewell, now. I'll see you again someday. I love you, Pooh, even though I talk shit about you all the time. <laughs> Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had a chance to use some of those theories that I've been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Ananauts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs> Ness, will you sort me home? I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to just being a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. We did it. We did it. It's a letter from kids inside. Oh boy! Let's read it. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you haven't any. <laughs> Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. <laughs> Yo, Jeff. It was fun hanging out together. It's a miracle! A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have <laughs> called me you as a robot. I should have used the face distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. The chance a guy gets gained victor with his monster's plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that if Skygus fails, I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It wasn't winters that we last met. I just got here. Tee hee hee. I think new things, difficult things from now. Happy boing. More happy ding ding. Much more happy poo poos. <laughs> big big happy zoom. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you have left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat as much pizza as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal character. Who was it? Googie? I defeated Google, Mom. <coughs> well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? There's a letter from Tony inside. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful ass. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Whoops! Hi, it's your dad. To get to the next level. <laughs> I guess I need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying to very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. I went through like five puberties, Dad. I killed like 15 super creatures. I, I got hair on my chin chin now. We understand that you've experienced hardships in the past. No one could fight the evil entity except you. We are proud. We are happy. We are one. Yonatko. You're here. We have a little- We have a little, but stay and rest for a while. But I'm impressed. You did so well for one that hasn't had so much training. Yo, Pooh. Get a name change. Later, peep. You gotta get a name change. You gotta rename yourself to P. Jeff does it call me. Maybe I th he thinks I'm too annoying. But I don't think so. That's did you tell him not to call me? No, I, I know you wouldn't do that. You see, Jeff, please, please ask him to call Tony. Thanks. Oh, Tony. Oi. That's... Pokey left me, his own dad, and just disappeared. If you see him, tell him to take... You should take <laughs> tell him you should take care of his... Better care of his own father. I'll tell my wife and Wanette that... I, well, I said it again. On it. That I've been spending my time here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good evening, hero. How about an espresso? Spin to win! Spin to win! Oh, oh. Oh. Dog, dog, dog! Pizza? Please, we don't have such a... Pizza? 
place we do not have such trash on the menu. You are a, a total bimbo. Hey, meat man. I don't need your words anymore. I'll turn back into a simple rock. Who are you talking to? Oh god. Oh god, lady, lady, lady! Oh, look at that sprite cleavage. PSI ejaculate omega. Trash hamburger. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Uh, aren't you Ness? After a battle, I became serious, and I've been working very hard. I've been doing some training for, for well, a little bit of pro wrestling. It's the ring for me, baby. So you made it back alive. You must have so many stories to tell. Let's get together for a drink when you have a chance, so I can hear your stories. I'm talking about drinking mineral water. I'm still underage. You no. Know? <laughs> you look like a crackhead, dude. Yo, dog. How goes? Woof woof. I'm Ruffini the dog. Here comes the spirit of the game designer again. Ruff. You're finally almost at the end of the game. If you want to tell me your cool mints on this game, you may write to me using the N Nintendo's address on the box. Send your comments to the attention earthbound Ruffini the dog. Now get ready for the ending. It's all that's left. Enjoy it. Alright. I really should go home. I shouldn't be out just wandering here and there. Don't you think so? Come with me. Well, okay. I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. Yes. 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 Mom, can't talk right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm done. Goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. York! <laughs> Hello. Hi. It's not necessary to return the map now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. Boy, did we ever. China's book. There you go. Finally, you've come to return the book. It seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. Smack. Mmm. Yes, I'm, I'm 14 years late to return the map. How about you, Quaker Oats? At Giant Step, there's a monster guard in the spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster is made. What if it's stronger than my wife? Hubba bubba. Man, th this has been a sexual journey for Ness. It's gonna go home and be like, I scored a million times today. Ness, thanks for <laughs> thanks for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I I've forgotten it. I'm sure you'll I'll remember it by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Um, so, so long. S see ya. Bye. Hey kid, I just got late. <laughs> All right. Wow, you become such a strong young man. I like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure is finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I like to look at it with you. Did you finish doing everything that you wanted to? Yes! Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. <laughs> yeah, we did it! High five, everybody! Internet high five. I like how the chair still has a face. And he's like, he's the fourth member of the DK crew. Well, I guess that's where the Runaway Five is, huh? They're performing in the credits. Assholes. There's Picky, Lardna, Aloysius, and Pokey. There's Buzz Buzz. Here's Liar Exaggerate. Frankie Fly, Frankie Boy, the Sharks. Dooga 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 dooga. There's B H Perkle, Captain Strong, Strong. On that police force. Paula's mom, Paula's dad, Paula. Orange Kid, Apple Kid. Mr. Everdread. Here they are, man. All along. Runaway 5. The Ku Klux uh, Happy Happiest. Carpainer. <laughs> it's Bubble Monkey. Tony. 
Oh, Maxwell and Tessie. Tessie Washing Club. Brick Roads. Dungeon Man. Dungeon Man. Dr. Ananauts. Here's good old Jeff. Jeffy boy. Mr. Saturn. Zoom boing bing. Oh, the. I didn't know that. Oh, that Master Belts. George Montague. Happy Happiest are supposed to be real life. Om Shin Rikyo. Rikyo. I know about those guys. They're crazy shit. Talarama. Venus. <laughs> Good old Poo Poo. Poo's Master. Star Master. There's Dungeon Man. Hell yeah, Dungeon Man! Yeah, Dungeon Man! Yeah! And we're losing the shit. Noble Warrior, Tenda Tribesman. Get out of here, Mr. Saturn. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! It's the Flying Man. Revived from the dead. I'm sorry, I'm so terrible. Here's all the NPCs. Here's a Jason as well. <laughs> Hot dog. And that's Dan. Confirmed. He is the phone. He is the phone. Come on. Tracy, Mom, and Ness. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Shit, we gotta do one fuzzy pickle. One last fuzzy pickle, man. Come on. Fuzzy pickles! <laughs> And we all go blind. <laughs> and I guess with that, everybody, uh, I'd like to thank you all for um, uh, watching Earthbound. Uh, it's been a long, long uh, series of uh, streams. I had a great time with Earthbound. There was a lot of interesting conversations I had throughout this journey. A lot of fun stuff, revisiting one of the greatest RPGs on this NES. And, um... Yeah, this this was a really fun stream, and I'm gonna definitely miss this series because, um, yeah, it's it's always fun for me to like boot up Earthbound and you know run through whatever once in a while, and you know I'm not very good at Earthbound. Still to this day, I've streamed it a bunch of times, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> I suck ass at it. It's always just like, how do I do things again? You know, I always get stuck on parts, and I do pr play terribly, but um. Yeah, somehow you guys are still uh, enjoying what I do uh, in in games like these, and I thank you all for it. It's 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 been a real honor to stream this game, this gay, gay the gay day, yeah, this game. Um, but uh, yeah, seriously though, uh, thank you all for watching the series. It, it was really fun, and uh, yeah, I might restream it again someday if you want it. And, uh, coincidentally today, um, which I did not plan, but I find out through you, uh, chat right now, um, it was Iwata's birthday today, which, uh, you know, uh, if anything, uh, the man left behind a great legacy, and, uh, um, also experienced this game, this, this game again, it's just, uh, you know, it, it brings a little, little more smile to the world when we're, we're all laughing at stupid shit like me talking about pizza or, ma you know, making silly voices as we're going through this. But I, I seriously though, um, thank you all for watching this with me. I it was a real joy to do, and uh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure what would have enjoyed me talking about pizza for you know 20 minutes as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fantastic game, Earthbound. Um, what else is there to say about it, except that there's a ghost in the picture! 
My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It is addressed to Ness. There's no stamp and it's not time for the mailman to come. In the way, I brought it over. It says, Come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. Dun -dun. <laughs> yep, the end. Question mark. Anyway, guys, yeah, I can't, I can't thank you all for watching this series with me, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching Earthbound. Uh, and and yeah, that is gonna be it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching it. Uh, Temi, Jojo, Undertale, mashup insanity. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd play it. <laughs>